Check the description section of this video if you wish to skip introductions or the rules explanation. Gathered friends, welcome to Board Game Cult. Step into the dark arts and entwine your destiny with us. Running continuously since 1901, the Board Game Cult has a rich history in American and global affairs. I am the current leader of Board Game Cult, the Grand Draconic, and I am joined by current members the strict adherent Logisier, Ponder the Mad, an abbess of the Second Order, Cottontailed. We have inducted two new members tonight, Acolytes, Silencer of the Web, Kelsadelphi, and Jin of the Vapors of the Third Destiny, Putnik underscore 71. As this is our first recorded session in all of history, in the over 120 years of continual operation of Board Game Cult, we cast aside our real names and we shall only use our cool internet names to address each other friends let us speak with the audience adherents of board game cult as to who we are before we begin to play tonight's episode of twilight imperium fourth edition cotton when you are on the internet how are you addressed and where can one find you on the internet people usually call me cotton which is short for Cotton Tailed. And they can find me on Twitter or AP's Discord. Fantastic. Pondo, same question. I am a Pondo the Mad. You can, uh, most people call me Pondo. And most other people know me as Pondo the Mad or many other variations of that name that they come up with. Uh, if you want to find me, you can find me at my Twitch or YouTube at the respective sites slash part of the mad uh or you can catch me here occasionally on thursday nights on battletech uh right now saturday nights at uh on 40k and the occasional time the ap's on vacation uh playing pokemon along with saturday nights currently at the moment at the time of this i guess recording i have a show myself on my Twitch going on. That's called Hunters of Ulvern is a 5e just all game. That is going that is a Witcher style setting where uh it's gonna be a lot of monster hunting. Kelsa, same question. Uh I'm Kelsa and uh, I play role playing games on the internet. Uh in addition to playing board games, you can find me on Twitter at Kelsa. Or my my full internet monkier, Kelsadelphi on Twitch or YouTube. Spoonik. Same question. Uh yeah, people call me Sputnik. You can find me on Twitter at Sputnik underscore 71. You can also uh find me on Twitch. Uh, it, uh my Twitch name is Spooty McTooty because it's cute. Uh, and you Just can like see you. me. That's right. Exactly. You're making me blush. And uh, I also am on AP's channel on uh, Wednesdays playing um, a uh, just a very racist version of a Swedish person on New Game Plus. I'm working on fixing that. I'm really trying, but it just comes out sounding like the Swedish chef from the, from the Muppets. It has gotten a lot better. Brother I've tried. Uh, <laughs> in order to begin the ritual of the board game, we must remember that we are all here to drive off the moderate but not great threat of the star of ill content. Let us begin with the first rite of imbibement. Yeah. Now that all of us except Pondo have imbibed sweet, sweet liquids. We can begin the play. I missed the uh, I missed the cue. I didn't, I didn't even know, know what was happening. Was I was just drinking. It's, because, it's a new uh, it's a new ritual. We just came up with it. You know, despite 120 years of continuous operation, Did 120 you not get the confirmed memo? years. It should be remembered, uh, newest adherents. Do not speak any truths to the public beyond those that have been listed through the first and seventh chambers. Uh, anything beyond uh, that may draw. The ire of the star of ill content, which we are here to calm its ire by playing board games in a ritual setting. 
I might have already screwed that up. <laughs> I might have set a very strange backstory. <laughs> Friends, we're playing Twilight Imperium 4th Edition tonight. Some have called it one of the most complicated board games in history. Others have said it's it's about talking. There's so much talking. In addition, while most of these board game shows will probably be one to two hours, this one will be probably at least six, possibly upwards of nine, separated between two to three episodes. If it's not available in the video, in the edited video, there will be logs of the secret conversations we are all having with each other as this game goes on that will be available in the description section. Feel free to peruse those at your leisure. Now, if I'm reading the rules correctly, we must choose one among us to act as the speaker and guide us through this process. As many of us will be playing for the first time. Let's raise our hands if we're playing Kelsa. for the first time. If the answer's gonna be Kelsa, she's gonna be speaker. I also vote for Kelsa. Yes. I vote for Kelsa. <laughs> I've got my bedpan ready. Let's go. <laughs> Speaker Kelsa, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna, I guess, pick factions. Is there a, I haven't played with this particular table before, actually. Uh, you seem to imply there was like a button or something that would. Uh... There is, allow me to uh, get, our, get our colors. Yeah. I have not picked a color because you said that. Uh... Yes. You, might, you have to pick a color up front so that you can get your color. I'm red. Everybody I'm should have purple. gotten a color. Okay, well, you're purple. Yes, but purple. I got the red token. Uh, okay. So well, now I'm purple. Right, no, I... Connor, why are you taking my red? The spot, get out! Go away! <laughs> Wait, where are you grabbing tokens from? Uh, you should have all been dealt a token from, right. from the randomized seating token thing. Oh, I see. I'm green. I got blue, which I think was Kelsa. So wait, you're blue. This is well, already descended a... into madness. I have a big <laughs> blue button in front of me. Yes, you're now blue. Okay. All right. I've got purple. Uh, right, because that purple. was me. I was already blue. Okay, that's that's I what I was purple. guessing. All right, I I didn't get dealt one, so. You are well, whatever your... other color you want to be. Which the one is not taken. It won't matter because the way turn order goes, you will always go before Kelsa. Mm -hmm. Unless Kelsa goes first. Well, wait, wasn't Sputnik uh, blue? I'm green, but I can't get in there yet. That's because Sputnik is green. Okay, so, so that one needs to evacuate blue. I did I... evacuate blue. Then Oops, Sputnik shit. goes blue. Hold on. Like Sputnik <laughs> changes color. Good. Yes. Working as swimmingly as, as imagined. All right, yes. I'll take. Cannot be, enter. Be oh, there we go. I see. Be white blue. or yellow. I am now blue. Uh, I'll take yellow. No, no. I, We're gonna I, randomize I, it. Whatever color Marcus comes Hell out of this Rex. bag is what color you are, Pondo. All right. Oh, you're okay. yellow. All right. <laughs> Let us place. It works out. Our colors back in this bag. This is randomized seats. Huh? All right, that did not go the ramp. There I, I might have dropped it in the wrong bag. That's right, fine. That the other go. bag is mostly useless. There go. I fixed it. Oh, wait, the blue wasn't me. I didn't do it. I got it in the right bag, I guess. There's uh, a big purple you, button in front of me. You did get it in the wrong bag the first time. Well, if there's a big purple button, oh, oh, take it out of your. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. You did it. You did it. Next. Which means I need to be the speaker because there we go. We will need to open this bag and pull out our uh, our type. I have chosen to play Emirates of Hakan, aka Space Lions, Space Master Lions. Traders. How do I? Okay, pick a race to play. So what do I do here? How do I pick a uh, card? Any card? We're playing a uh, first time game, so you get such Shaw Kingdom. Federation of Soul, Emirates of Hakan, Barony of so, Lutmil. Place the token on my tray and yes. place the unpack button. Yes. Yes. You see so in the upper right the hand corner, it says unpack faction the... box. Look at Could... that. That's magic. What? How did that happen? Wow. Wait, how, how is this happening? It's incredible. The power of science. Place the token on my tray. What is my tray? Okay, my tray so, is this. Yep. yep. 
All right. That's not the right token. Okay. That's not the right token. I don't know how to decide which token to pick. Right click on the bag and go to search. Ah, see instructions. Hondo, hit the unpack button. What are the uh, what are the space turtles? They're the Jisha. The Jisha Bubba? X X C H A. Aha. So Zha Zha. Oops. Where'd it go? That's a vampire I've ever seen. I am <laughs> horrid at Tabletop Simulator. That's fine. I've lost the Zhizhas. I don't know where they've Should gone. You drop them? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. You must have. Ah, here they are. Aha! Oh. Yay! All right, hit this button over here that says unpack and watch the fucking magic. It's so pretty great. It says unpack. Yep, you see it right I've here? Gotten... Unpack faction box. Of the three remaining factions, did you I decide see. which no, one? No, farther over here, Spoonick. You're going the wrong way. No, or... I don't really care. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Press the button. I did it. Look at that. Incredible. Do you, wow. do you, <gasps> do you want to make a lot of ground troops? No. Uh, do you want to be a fighty boy? Nope. Would you like to science your way to victory? Would you like to sure. learn so many technologies? I'll, I'll be the fish. Which yes, one's be, the fish? Jolnar, the University it's of the, it's the it's the clam, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> what did you do? What did you I do? just pulled the token out and it'll flung everything away. What'd you do? It's fine. It's fine. Just take it's your token. It's not that fine. I guess the token just like landed right where those were at. I'm so sorry. I'm not entirely sure what happened. So I'm just take gonna your token. Take my token. I'm so sorry. Oh, nope. Get back in the bag. So because I'm sitting next to the speaker, I get like an additional action, right? No. Uh, it depends on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, you actually might. Uh, it depends on the type of map draw we get. Okay. All right. Um. All right. I gotta choose between um the humans and the fighty boys. I think I'll go with humans. I'll go with Federation of Saul. Let's this is a really well done module. Yeah. Someone put a lot of work it's in. It's real good. Yeah. Okay. So. The first thing we should do is go over what the F everything is here. Um, you'll notice you have like a new sheet that's over there. That is your faction sheet. Uh, you're going to need to flip it over. Oh, Christ. How do I do you. that? F. Oh, no, you don't have to. It does it for you. Damn, it's so fucking Boom. good. Flip. Flip it back. Never mind. I was a liar. Oh, there's a bunch of flavor text. Oh, yeah. Starting units. Uh, the starting units are already placed for you. Um, Beautiful. Be because this is just so good. Starting technology. Graviton laser system. Already sounds, placed for you as well. Sounds good. Um, Jolnar, however, you have a decision to make, I think. Uh, no, you're... Nope, never mind. Your starting technologies are all set. Okay, good. Got all the ones. Great. So once you have that, flip it back, and we're going to talk about all the different tokens here. So the first thing you'll see, like there's like a line of the different tokens right across the top in your color. Mm. The first ones are your infantry. Those are in uh, on all of your sheets, right there, uh, right there there you can see their um pictures match the different shapes right uh infantry are going to be your ground forces it's going to be how you take planets uh next to that is the fighters these uh little ships are tiny and they can't fly by themselves you have to have them in like a carrier or something um or at your space dock space docks in the next one they're on the other side of your infantry um, they don't cost anything to build. You have to build them during a special phase. Uh, then there's PDSs, which are like your ground to space missiles. Uh, they get other people's spaceships out of your airspace. Uh, the next figure is your carriers. 
they're going to be how you move your troops around and how you're going to get people to claim planets. Uh, next are the destroyers. These little ones are very good against fighters, um, but they're not very good on their own. Cruisers are better. They are faster than most other ships um, and are actually somewhat decent at fighting. And then uh, dreadnoughts are your big boys. They're going to be your um, who you're going to go to if you want to kill somebody. Uh, war sons, if you'll notice on your sheets, you don't they don't have any stats. That's because you can't build them yet. You have to research them first. Um, and we'll talk about research in just two shakes. And then finally is your um, your mothership, your uh, capital ship. Everyone's is unique. And in your stack of cards, uh, it's going to, um, you have your unique racial um, sciences in addition to all the other sciences uh quick question if i may um yes please on the infantry and fighter like on the cost it looks like it does that mean a cost of one gets me two of each yes. okay right. beautiful thank you um great uh so i love how this is all set up already it's fantastic um the next step would really be to to build the board, which actually um, isn't there a starting map for the starting. There is, thing? there is. Okay. We need to be very careful about using it because I haven't gotten it to work yet. Okay. Uh, but there is a five player galaxy set up that we either can build manually or we can attempt to use this thing over here. Five player, five player <clears throat> build. Work. I see some lines. Yeah, some lines. a little, a little white hex came out. Yeah, I don't think I got this to work right. That's all right. We can we can just build it. Um, uh, in the rules, it's on page twenty three. Green system tile closest around their position. So we're gonna have to build it from the point of view of Megatol Rex. Uh, is that a nine or a six on it? That's a custodian token. Don't worry about it. Uh, I know, but I'm just trying to figure out which perspective I'm looking it's at. It's six. So okay. the board is set from the our side of the table, not your side. Right, right, right. So AP is the so directly head above Macatol Rex goes System Twenty Two, and it's surrounded by two evil asteroid fields and a supernova. Find this here. Planetary token. I'll start pulling the ones out of the anomaly bag here. And I will say I'm total shit using tabletop simulator even though I've used it like a hundred times, so I may need help. Gotcha. That also implies to say, don't ask me to do anything like what you're doing right now, because okay. it just won't happen. Mm -hmm. Nope, get over there. Damn, that's a lot of uh, shit right there in the middle, huh? Uh, I think that's from the wrong perspective, Kelsey. Okay, what is the I think the supernova faces towards me. Right, because on this map, okay. Makatol Rex is in the middle. And when you're looking at it from your direction, it would be upside down. Yeah, so south is towards okay. AP spot yep. on the okay. table. So those go like this. Okay. Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, in that case, these are not in the right places. Okay. 
I just want to say hello to my neighbors, Cotton and Pondale. I want to wish them a good game in character as a Lion Prince of Trade and indicate that while we are scrunched in quite closely together, it would be better for us to uh, be peaceful friends and that perhaps peace can reign through the galaxy without combat or bloodshed. Paul, like are you peace. playing a war faction? Yes, you are. Uh... <laughs> I tuck my head into my shell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too. Uh, Pondo. Are you asking if I'm doing a war nation? Yes. I, I guess I am. It I, looks I, like you are. And let me indicate, first off, how incredibly handsome you look today. And <laughs> how oh, little uh, combat needs to occur between us. Cannot peace reign between our nations. Uh, I, I see where you're going at. Yeah? yeah. You think so? Yeah. Your words of kiss buttery will be considered. I see. You, you need to get some trade tokens from him. Make him, make him back up that bullshittery with some, uh, some money. Some have yeah. called it uh, solid dealing with with Hakan. As you know, when the Empire dissolved, Hakan still kept trading with everyone. Mm. That's just the kind of good guys that we are around here. True. It's true. This funky weird. So steamroll AP. Got it. What? What? Huh? I'm okay Who with said this that? plan. Uh, well, while, while, while AP is generously uh, building the map here for us, I'll, I'll go over some of the other stuff on your board. So um, you'll notice there is a cost. Obviously, you were, ta we were talking about it earlier um, for fighters and uh, infantry. Uh, one credit will get you two plastic tiles. Um, everything else uh, is going to cost more than that. Destroyers are the next cheapest with one for one. Uh, cruisers are two for one. Carriers three for one, dreadnoughts four, and then uh, I believe all of our capital ships are eight. Um, nobody knows nobody knows how to build um, war suns, but just so you know, they cost twelve. Um, Sorry, another you... another quick question. Sorry, yep. uh, and you might get to it. And if I'm getting ahead of myself, let me know. So I see the capacity on there, and um, yes. as far as the capacity rules, is it literally four tokens? Or with the fighters with infantry, because it's a cost of one for two, is it like a two for one? Like, could yeah. I take eight infantry on a nope. pair? Okay, cool. So, Sorry. yes, uh, infantry are cheap, but they still take up space. Cool, cool. Um, the other thing, the other number on there you'll notice is the uh, combat number. All combat is rolled using 10 sided dice. And the lower the number is good because you need to roll that number or higher in order to successfully deal a damage to your opponent. So uh, fighters are really terrible because they need a nine or a 10 in order to hit. Anything else does not. And the triangle just denotes that you have to roll that or higher? Uh, the triangle means that it's possible for you to make that better. Ah. Uh, you'll notice some of them, like for example, uh, the fighter has a triangle on uh, the fighting, but also on the move, because you can make it better so that they can actually move on their own. And that's done through like research and technology and whatnot? Exactly. Cool. Uh, your technology cards are in the upper left-hand corner, and you'll notice you have um, uh, four of each different color. And then there's a bunch of ship upgrades. In the lower right-hand corner uh, is the symbol that it, what type of science this produces. By knowing one science, you get you are better at that type of science. Um, so everybody starts off with some technology, and that's kind of like your starting prerequisites of stuff. On the lower left-hand side is how many of each. Uh, other types of cards you need to already have in order to build this one. It's basically the prerequisites. So the highest level of the red technology requires three other red technologies, and then you can have assault cannons. But you'll notice there are 
um, down below are the ship upgrades. And some of them require different types of um, technology in order to research them. So for example, getting better PDSs requires at least one red technology and at least one yellow technology. Cool. Um, and yeah, the little cheat sheet on your on your board that tells you about what everything costs and what it um, combat value is and everything, it also gives you that little up arrow to indicate that it gets better if you research it. So it might give you a something you might want to go for. And it also tells you what it would cost to upgrade right there on your sheet so you know what you need to have. Um, and then you each have a specific technology for your race. Uh, and it, again, these are going to cost, um, have a specific cost on them. Um, uh, not cost, I mean prerequisite. Um, for example, for my spec ops, I need to have two green technologies, and this is going to upgrade my infantry uh, so that they're going to be better than everybody else's infantry. Um, where is the special technology you're talking about? Uh, where is your board? Over here. So it should be just to the left of your player so, board. No, no, right? it, they're in this um, in this stack of all of your technologies. The mm -hmm. top two are your racial ones. Oh, so we get those automatically, oh, yes. or yes. Oh, so yeah. I should pull those no, off no. the deck. You, they're added to your deck. Yeah, they're just in your deck. I had yes. them pull uh, off as like an example. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Anyway, uh, we're um, missing a couple tokens here. What, wormhole tokens. Uh, they're not in the blue bag. I don't know if there's another bag. No, they're in the red bag. Very well. Um, where? Oh, okay. Uh, search. This one, uh, and let's see here. Am I? Oh, I know what I'm also missing here. It's this one. And we need a space token. I think yep. that should cover everything. Yeah. Sorry, I was pulling those out and then I got distracted with talking about the other stuff. Um, planet. Uh, what planet? Is it this one? I don't know. Uh, oh, something must be misplaced. Wait. Well, someone can review my work real quick. I'm putting <laughs> a lot of shit on this board. It looks beautiful except for this one empty spot. That's where the last planet set goes. <clears throat> Let's find where Lazax goes. Centauri. Is it the one in the top corner? Oh, what is this right Which here? Which way yeah. is your top corner? Right, oh. right here. No. No, it's not. That's, Ooh, shit. That's a what's, different what's, thing. what's this one right here? Does that go there? This one? No, that's weird because that one's not listed. Interesting. Because this needs to be uh, number thirty. From from what I'm seeing here. Hmm. Cotton is okay, wait. If this is thirty. Wormholes. Hold on. Ah, okay, okay. This one goes here, and then this one goes here. Well, that looks like a finished board. Yay! Can someone confirm my work? Just make sure every token is in the right place before we get started. All right, so... Three, two... I need to turn around, because that's going to drive me nuts. Okay. Hold on a second here. These didn't get moved over properly. There we go. Um, I'm gonna lock them as I verify them. Ah, keyboard, come on. Three, two, three, five, forty, thirty, twenty-one. Eight. Oh, 
is my fault. That's my fault. That's right. That's right. That's right. to a reversed. Okay, got it. All right, now everything is correct. And everybody's, um, all the tiles should now be locked down. Okay, good. Cool. Uh, so, tiles, you all have a starting uh, planet. Uh, out on the board, and it's got a bunch of your little pieces on it. Those are your starting pieces. Uh, anyone who has two planets, you need to decide which of your two planets has your space station. Oh. You want it to be the one with the higher yellow number. There's two different numbers on planets. Those are your production. <clears throat> so um, your yellow number is going to be your like material goods. This is going to be how you build spaceships and stuff. That's your money, um, more or less. And then your blue number is your political power, and that's how we're going to like have votes and stuff um, later on in the game once someone has landed on Mechatol and we start having uh, space congress. Okay, so how do I how do I decide? I've made my decision, but which is my space station? Uh, it's the circle. Ah, uh, and I want um this guy. So does the space station? Not is it not benefit to get the one that has the higher political power? Or? Correct, because oh, okay, the space station is it's where you build your ships at, uh, okay. and so you need to have the raw minerals the, there. Okay, yeah. Uh, then mine's going to be on Arc Prime. Okay, that makes the most sense. Because it has four of the green. Yes, and I do have a question. So the the planet yes. card that was dealed to me is not the right planet that my space station is on. Does that matter? Uh, it actually it. is two different ones, and this political favor oh. goes away because we're not using those. Oh, not in your inventory. I see. But now I do control both of these planets, yes? Correct. Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, anyone else who has two planets, uh, make sure that you uh, separate them out to be two different planets. And anyone with three planets, Hakan, uh, do, do all the same things. Uh, I have placed my space dock where space docking is, is good. It's good. good for us. And Come to Archon Ren. Dock on my space dock. So just we need to put the space dock on the planet that we choose? Yes. Yes. Okay, so mine's already on Arc Prime. So Good. good. So you've, you've already done it. Perfect. Um, so you're going to we're going to be going out and getting new planets. Uh, you want ones with high numbers, obviously, but just having more is always better. Um, you'll notice on your uh, little color sheets, let's go over what all the different stuff is here. So you've got uh, three triangles in the top triangle labeled tactics. These are going to be how you move around the board, right? So you're going to move a triangle onto one of the hexes, and that indicates that you're going to be going to that hex. You can then take any number of spaceships that do not already have one of your triangles uh, on their hex and have enough movement to reach the, net, the hex that you activated. Um, so basically, it's like a magnet. It's going to pull in ships from everywhere else. It's not... Um, it's not like you're moving just from here to there. You're saying, okay, this is the target. Everyone who can get there, get there. Um, the next type is your fleet. This is how many spaceships you can have in one hex at a time. Everyone starts with a fleet of three. 
and that is indicating um, that you can have up to three spaceships in a hex at a time. Um, these tokens are interchangeable between the tactics and the fleet. There are certain points throughout the game where you can change which pools these tokens are in. So if you don't have a lot of spaceships, maybe it makes sense to take one of the tokens out of your fleet so that you can use it somewhere else. Uh, or if you would like to make more spaceships, you may put them into your fleet, even if you were previously using them somewhere else during the assigned times to move them. Um, I'm okay. sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, fighters do not count in that total, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. They're not spaceships. Uh, when you Well, they could be if they try. <laughs> When you upgrade them and you use, they are allowed to move on their own. If they are not otherwise supported, they will count towards your limit. But if you have a space dock or a carrier where they can dock, they're totally going to dock. Okay. Uh, the final thing is your strategy pool. Um, this is the t this is your currency for doing stuff on other people's turns. Um, everybody is going to have a strategy. Uh, there are eight of them, and there are five of us, so each round, three of them will not be chosen. But if you want to do the strategy that somebody else has, you need to have the strategy tokens. Um, so the first one um, is, this is also going to set turn order for the year. Um, number one is leadership. This is going to get you more command tokens. Uh, it also is free um, as far as command token cost. Uh, the secondary ability also gets you more command tokens, so you don't have to spend them to get them. You have to spend political power instead. Um, you spend your political power by flipping over the planets that have that political power, so that the, their like black and white gray side is up. And then we'll, at the end of the year, you'll get to reset those. That's also how you spend them for their... Um, material power and you can only use them for one or the other so either they produce a lot of material or they produce an amount of political power uh, the second one is diplomacy this is kind of your um hey don't bother me tactic um it says choose one system other than mechatol rex that contains a planet you control each other player places a command token uh, from their reinforcements on that system. And then you, uh, who plays diplomacy, gets to unexhaust a uh, planet you control in the system. You get to ready them, which is good. It's a way for you to get back planets you've already spent. What uh, is the purpose of us putting the control tokens yes, in that good, system? Yes, good question. Remember earlier how I said you would use your um, tokens from your tactics pool mm -hmm. to move on the board? If one of your tokens is on a space on the board, you cannot put another one there. Ah, okay. So you can't put an all out alert to go to one system and then like the next turn, put an all out alert to go to that same system because you've already gone there, it's been activated. Cool. Uh, there's ways to get around that, which I'll get to. Uh, one of the main tactics, uh, strategies, is going to involve that. But basically, when you activate this defensively, you can say, hey, don't with mess with my system. And on the other side of that, you also get to use your system a second time to use the resources from it. The secondary ability, so the one you would have to spend a token from the strategy pool for, uh, says that you get to ready up to two exhausted planets. So the other players also get the benefit of unexhausting some planets, uh, letting them use them again. Um, but if you use it early enough in the turn, you're probably using it for the defensive capabilities and they wouldn't have any spent planets to turn over anyway, so you're not benefiting them. Uh, politics is a fun one. Uh, it's going to change who the speaker token is. Uh, when you choose politics and you when you use it, um, you get to decide who the speaker is going to be. So you can say yourself unless you're already the speaker and then you have to choose somebody else. 
this is also where you're going to draw action cards and it lets you get a sneak peek at what our vote is going to be about when we get around to having a vote because uh, the vote doesn't actually happen until someone controls Megatol. And the secondary ability of that allows you to draw action cards. Action cards are a great way to break the game. Uh, they let you do really cool stuff you couldn't do otherwise. Then we've got construction. Uh, this is how you build more space docks. Obviously, you're going to want to already have another planet before you build a space dock on it. Um, but this is going to let you build like front runners. You only have a total of three space docks though, so you can only do this a few times. Uh, it also allows you to place PDSs either in addition or instead, and those are going to be ways that you can stop people from bringing their spaceships into your territory. Uh, the secondary ability lets you build either a PDS or a space dock instead of being able to do both. Um, but it's still pretty good and pretty powerful that you may want to use that ability. Next is trade. Trade is what the space cats are all about. Um, the first thing you do is you gain three trade goods. Trade goods are fantastic because you can spend them either as like materials to build spaceships or as political power to buy some more command tokens. Uh, then you replenish your commodities. Everybody on the board has uh, a number of commodities that you produce, and they are produced um, when the trade token is, uh, is taken. Then whoever chose this can choose any other number of players to also refresh their commodities. Um, then the secondary ability is Anybody you did not choose can spend an influence, their, one of their strategy tokens, in order to refresh. But so that's one way you can work some trades in, is you can be like, hey, I'll let you refresh your tr uh, commodities for free if you trade them to me. Um, but the space cats get to always do it for free because they just are traders like that. Then warfare. Uh, we talked earlier about how when your command token is down on a hex, you cannot go into that hex anymore. Uh, warfare lets you pick up one of your command tokens from the board and then put it back into your supply, which means that now you can go into that hex a second time or you can move out of that hex. Because if there's already a command token on the hex, you cannot move into or out of it. But by removing that, it opens up a lot of options. This is also one of the times where you can rearrange uh, where your tokens are on your board. So if you're like, actually, I'm going to pick up this command token that was on the board, and then I'm going to rearrange everything so now I can have six ships in one system, uh, I might be looking to make a big attack move in the very near future. The secondary ability allows you to make a, use your production ability uh, of one of your space talks in your home system. Basically, it just lets you spend your own money to poop out some stuff. It's a, it's a way to get a free build action, basically. I like pooping. <laughs> a lot of people do. Uh, and then we have technology. Uh, this is where... Uh, uh, Cotton, your race is really going to shine. Um, a primary ability of technology is research one technology, which means you just get to learn a technology for free. Then you can also spend six resources to research an additional technology, which means you could potentially research two technologies in one turn, which is pretty good. The secondary ability says that you can spend a token from your supply in order to end four resources in order to research the technology. So this is how everybody else is going to start doing some researching is when they are not uh, doing the technology themselves. Um, and so uh, Joel Nahr, Cotton, your 
going to want to not pick technology because you actually get to research uh, three things. Or, sorry, you can do the two research two things things when you would normally get to only research one thing because it's instead. But still, being able to research two things is great. And this lets you get all the benefits of having chosen that as your primary tactic while also getting the opportunity to choose a different primary tactic. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then finally is Imperial. This is going to be where you're going to get points from. This is where uh, you get an extra chance to um, fulfill a goal. Normally you can only claim one per turn. And so this is going to be an opportunity to claim a second. Also, if you are the person in charge of Mechatol Rex, just by claiming Imperial, you gain a point when you use it, as long as you're still sitting on Mechatol Rex. So if someone sees you take Imperial and they kick you off before you get a turn, well, that's just how this game is played. Um, what this gives you the other opportunity to do is also get some secret objectives. Everybody is going to have a secret objective and this is a way that you can get an additional secret objective. Overall, you can have a total of three secret objectives, um, and that is either in your hand or completed. So once you have, uh, while they're still in your hand, if you draw a fourth one, you can then discard one. Um, but once you have played them all out, you can't draw anymore. Um, but secret objectives are a way to secretly get points that no one else knows that how you're going to get them. Uh, we played a 10 points. Uh, here is our regular objectives. Sorry, one quick question. Yes. And I might have missed this because someone's trying to do dirty deals with me already. Um, the On the primary abilities, they're on the ones that have multiple bullet points. Do you just pick one of those bullets or you could do all of them? You're going to do all of them. Okay, thank you. You're going to do all of them and you're going to do them in that order. Cool. Uh, that's rarely is that important, but yeah. Okay, uh, right. So points, that's a thing. Uh, every We're going to have public objectives as... Um, have these been shuffled? Probably not. I'll shuffle them right now. Just because. Just, I'm, I'm reading through the rules real quick. Hold on. Did that part. Did that part. I shuffled all of them earlier. All three decks. Okay. Perfect. The secret Good. agenda and whatever the other one is. Uh, secret objectives, agendas, secret? and... Yes. Okay. Uh, that's going to be the next thing right now. That's fine. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, each player draws one secret objective and keeps it hidden from the other players. Uh, Kelso, would you like to deal the secret objective deck? It'll oh shit, I just pulled one off the top. Very well, I guess I will I, too. I already did too. Um, how do I look at it without showing everybody? If you put it where your name is, uh, it'll enter a secret zone where no one else can see it. And you should so be like able to flip it my over. name on the table? Yeah, no, I don't no, know if yours is ending yet. There it is. When it turns right side up like that, you should be able to okay. flip it over and no one can see it. It'll just show as a secret deck. Okay. Uh, then we... Oh my god, really? That's uh, fucking impossible. Where's the secret objective up here? Left side of the table. Left side of the table. All right. Um, if it's impossible, can I just flip the table? No. Please don't. That's not impossible. And what's the... Oh, so this is just gets extra points, essentially. Yes, it's a way to get extra points. We're playing to a total of 10 points. If it's something that's impossible, it's probably not actually impossible. It's probably just hard. Um, but all of the objectives are hard. It's supposed to be difficult. They're, they're secret objectives because you have to work for them, not because they're secret easy. Uh, 
our first two objectives that are publicly no known and everyone can gain these objectives. Uh, one is spend five trade goods. That's pretty expensive. Trade goods are somewhat hard to come by and always a good resource to have. Spending five of them is worth a point. No, wait, uh, do you have to spend it solely on that? Yep. Okay. Right then Understood. at that point, you, you say, here are my five and you can only goods. do that at oh. the you can only do that at the end of the round right when you start so it's not only... it's not spend five trade goods on buying something it's literally hey when it's time to score victory points here's five trade goods i get a point yes okay. exactly uh then we have uh intimidate the council have one or more spaceships in two systems that are adjacent to mechatol rex so basically it just says hang out near Mechatol, not in Mechatol, near Mechatol. Uh, at the end of the round, we're going to score objectives and you can only score one objective per round, which is why um, the Imperial is important to give you an opportunity to score a second one later, um, possibly twice in one round. Um, if you like qualify for something that you didn't before and now you qualify for like two different things. Um, let's talk about how the round works. Well, uh, can more than one person score the yes. same victory point at the same time? Yes. Yes. Uh, everyone can score victory points of all of these. So that each person can score each objective one time, except secret objectives, in which case you can only score your own. And again, only once. And you can only, when we do the scoring, like say I meet both of these conditions, I can only do one, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. Right. Uh, you can also score your secret objective at that time. Um, sure. You're not, li you're not limited to either public or secret. You get one public and then also your secret. Some secret objectives say action or is it action? Um, something like that, which means that they are, yeah, there's the uh, action phase and the status phase. Um, so during, if it's during the action phase, then that's, or tactical phase? Anyway, um, if it doesn't say status phase, it says a different phase. That means basically it would happen during the middle of the game and you can just bust it out when you do it. Like one of them is like, destroy your opponent's capital ship. I think. Uh, and basically, as soon as you do that, if you meet the condition, you are like, hey, there's, give me my points. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, action phase, that is what it's called. So the first phase of the game is the strategy phase. That's where we're each going to pick one of those eight strategies. And by the end of the action phase, we will have used all of those five strategies. Uh, the types of actions that you can take uh, after we each have one of these strategies, we're going to go around doing actions until everyone passes. The strategic action is going to be um, like one of your uh, like strategies to actually declare it and use it. So if you have the uh, leadership, for example, um, you can say, hey, I'm using leadership and then gain however many token uh, command tokens that you want that you can pay for. You start with the three for using it and then you can also buy additional ones. And then everyone else has the opportunity to buy additional ones as well. Just going around. Um, the next type of action that you can take is a tactical action. This is where most of the game board like actually moving happens. That's where you take one of your tactics tokens from your command pool, and then you put it out on the board on another hex, and then you move ships to that hex, and then you can choose to um, invade a planet if it's there, or fight other people if someone else is already there. Um, you'll see the breakdown of the tactical action listed there on your color reference sheet. So the first thing is the activation, that's moving your triangle onto the board. Then the movement is move ships and then space cannon offense. So first you move your ships 
uh, any ships, you can pull any ships you want to into that space as long as uh, it does not exceed your fleet limit and it does not, um, well, technically it could exceed your fleet limit. You won't check that until after any space battles occur. But if it does exceed your fleet limit, some of your ships are going to blow up. Uh, then uh, you can, if you have a space cannon that can reach that space, then you can shoot at opponents in that space. Uh, that's either a first level space cannon already on a planet in that space or a second level space cannon in an adjacent planet. Then space combat will happen. Um, that's broken down into the different steps. Then invasions happen. That's where you land your guys onto planets. Um, if there's no combat, then you just skip straight to establish control. And then finally, if you already owned a, a space station, a space dock on that uh, hex, then you can build ships there. Uh, next, uh, the, we go around choosing those different types of actions. Uh, the last one is a component action. Uh, that's going to be either an action card that says use an action or um, one of your um, uh, b -b 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 racial actions. For example, as the Federation of Saul, I have the action called Orbital Drop. Spend one token from your strategic pool, uh, from your strategy pool to place two infantry from your re reinforcements onto one planet you control. So your reinforcements, that's the game terminology for just all of the ones that are off of the board on your little tray. Uh, once everyone has passed and done all of the things they want to do for the space year, uh, then we move on to the status phase. This is going to be where you can score those objectives. So if you have the trade goods to spend, you can spend them now uh, to score the points. Then we reveal a new public objective that we'll be vying for next time. Uh, everyone gets to draw action cards. You get one for free, and you can upgrade that by getting technology. Then we remove all the command tokens from the board. We take all of the triangles that we've placed out there onto the hexes and we move them back into our little bags. Uh, then you gain and redistribute tokens. Uh, by default, you get two uh, command tokens. Uh, although uh, there are some things that modify that, you can get technologies that make that better. And me being humans, I also get an additional one just for free. Fucking humans. Fucking humans, I know. Uh, you can also, at that point, redistribute the tokens any way you want. So you can like suck some out of your fleet to get more into strategy or move some out of your tactics to put it in your fleet. However you want to move it around that you think will help you out for the next year. Uh, then you ready any cards. So this is where you're going to flip back over any planets that you have spent or any technologies that are one-time use that you use as an action. Um, make them eligible to use again for the next time. Uh, then you repair any units. Certain units are able to sustain damage, which means that they, they can take a hit and still survive. So if they take one hit and they still survive, at the end of each year, they get repaired and they are good as new again. Um, and then finally, return the strategy cards. You take all of the strategy cards that we have played with this round. We put them back. Um, the street, the three strategy cards from last round that were not used will each have uh, a bonus trade good on them and as a sort of incentive to choose them next time. Sure. And if they just sit around, they can get two or three or four trade goods on them, at which point someone might take that even though they don't want to do the thing just to get the strat, just to get the trade goods. Um, and that's basically all of the things. That's it? We're at 59 minutes and 9 seconds in, and we are ready to start playing. I, I will say that was a very fair. good rules explanation. It was. <laughs> it, it's a complicated game. It will make more sense as we play, I believe. And some of us are tactile learners. Yes. Um, there yeah. is one other thing that I haven't explained yet, but... The uh, agenda phase? It's not going to come up for at least two rounds. So yeah, hopefully more. I mean, look, if somebody snipes Mechatol Rex that are Pondo. 
Uh, in case you haven't been following along, Megatol Rex is this uh, tile right in the center of the board. The entire galaxy is built around it. Uh, so some people might think it's important. Highly um, influential card. Uh, it is highly influential. It has an influence What you're telling of me is, is that I need to Zerg Rutch Megatol Rex. Who controls <laughs> Megatol? Well, you have to, can, uh, can you have you, to pay. Yeah, I was like, can you explain real quick how to take over Megatol Rex? Ah, yes, that's actually a pretty good point. So Megatol Rex is special. When you land there, you can't just take over, take over because there are custodians there that are, you know, keeping it swept and uh, making sure that uh, everything is swept. still running a thousand years later and you can just be like, all right, Space Congress time. Um, and you have to impress them. So you need to spend six influence. Uh, okay, when you I do. I you do. Must point. say is that uh, when you say custodian, I thought of a big, large man in gold metal armor. Mm, armor. No, those are custodes. Custodes. Custodians are the guys that make sure that the Senate chamber isn't yes. covered in dust. Yes. yes. <laughs> so to spend that six influence, you either need to have six influence planets worth to spend and not have spent that on production. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that's a big buy. Yeah, uh, that's why a lot of people will do it at the very beginning of a space year um, so that they haven't spent anything at all yet. Right. So we need Lies. to pay six... Six influence, uh, the blue it's... currency. Okay. You can also spend trade goods. They would count as influence in this case. Mm -hmm. So you can just buy them off. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of trade, that's... did you know that uh, the Emirates of Hakan, my people, are excellent at trade and we're good at generating wealth for others? That's true. Let peace reign throughout the galaxy. We should go over really quickly what everybody's racial abilities are, um, not only so that everyone, including the people at home, will know, but also so the people playing them will know. All right, let's make it super fast, though. Yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, uh, I can, you want me to do let's mine? Let's start with Kelsey sure. as a speaker and we'll uh, go okay. clockwise. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so I already mentioned mine. I've got the orbital drop, which lets me just basically poop out uh, infantry. And then I'm versatile, which means that I get an extra command token during the status phase. Um, next is Pondo. Uh, as Whoa, very... whoa, whoa, What? Let's let Pondo explain himself. Oh, please, I, go right I know on. that, listen, I know that he wants to role play as like, Look at that guy. That's a Lord Esteban character right there. No. I'm, All right. I'm, well, not a you, cat. you hit me with those pipes. Um. Wait, where's is it this? Yes, yeah, so that's, racial your, that's, that's your racial specific. Okay. <clears throat> Munition reserves. At the start of each round of space combat, you may spend two trade goods. You may reroll any number of your dice during that combat round. Armada, the maximum number of non-fighter ships you can have in each system is equal to two or more the number of tokens in your fleet pool. I thought you said you weren't doing Lord Esteban. That's not Lord Esteban. <laughs> it was it's pretty uh, The Emirates <laughs> of Hakan, my space line people, uh, we do not have to spend a command token to resolve the secondary ability of the trade card. We can negotiate transactions with players who are not our neighbor, which means we don't need to have an established border. Friends, what better broker can you have than me? One capable of trading to everyone at all times. And arbiters, when you are negotiating a transaction, action cards can be uh, exchanged as a part of that transaction, which is an ability only we possess. That's a pretty sweet ability. Uh, Jolnar. Uh, we're fragile, so apply negative one to the result of each of your unit's combat rolls. Brilliant, when you spend a command token to resolve the secondary ability of the technology strategy card, you may resolve the primary ability instead. In analytical, when you research a technology that is not a unit upgrade technology, you may ignore one prerequisite. What the fuck? I wow. told you, she's going to win with science. That last one is ridiculous! Wow. It's real good. Oh my god. 
I hope you got real familiar with your technology, Jack, up here, Cotton, because that <laughs> analytical is so much bullshit. Cotton's going to be sitting over here shitting out wars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's always a possibility. All right, space turtles. All right, so uh, I have peace accords. After you resolve the primary or secondary ability of the diplomacy strategy card, you may gain control of one planet other than Mechatol Rex that does not contain any units as, and is in a system that is adjacent to a planet you control. I like that. It makes me feel That's like bullshit. I can probably spread out pretty quickly at the beginning of the game. Uh, and then my other one, uh, which I think comes into play later in the game, is Quash. When an agenda is revealed, I may spend one token from my strategy pool to discard that agenda and reveal another agenda from the top of the deck. Players vote on that agenda instead. Wow. And there's no limit to the number of times you can do that except the strategy tokens that you have. Oh, so you can, God. So you can just of... be like, flip the table, flip no. the table, flip the table. I, I am the McConnell of Twilight Imperium. Please, no. <laughs> uh, we're not voting on this. Uh, I gotta do what I say. The Senate shall decide your fate. Putnik's <laughs> <laughs> over here just like, I am the Senate. I am the Senate. Uh, this process is unfair. Let's see here. Who goes first? Let's do this Me, shit. Me, as the speaker, I need to choose uh, which card, right? of the strategy cards I would like to pick. Uh, so I think I'm going to choose... Yeah, I'm going to choose technology because that's pick. a very, very good pick. pick. Uh, Pondo, you're next to choose a card. You're muted. I yeah. only told him twice that he was muted. It's okay. <laughs> mm. I told you twice. So this is warfare. It says remove your remove uh, one of your command tokens from the game board, then gain one command token. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I just get a medium? I I just play these whenever, right? Basically, so when it's your turn, you can do one action. Doing the action from Warfare, you can do that one time this space year. And so you're going to do it after you've done some other stuff so that you have a token on the board for you to take back. But basically, you get to take a token off of the board, uh, off of the map, and put it back onto your board and reuse it. Either to go to the same place, to take stuff from there, or just to have an extra token to use. I want to take trade. Trade solid. Because I'm lacking in the uh, influence district at the moment. I'll if take... trade goods can be good for inf influence, then I might want that. I'll take politics. Shocking. That's. Done. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, you have a weird draw right now. It's hard, and it's hard to know, having not played this, like what, especially in, the, it's, in these big games, in the early games, it's always really difficult uh, to really figure out just for my first move be. Straight out, construction is a pretty solid opener. Yeah. Technology right. seems strong, too. But so technology was already sniped. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> technology would be incredible for Cotton, but All it's right. even better when somebody else plays it. All right, I'm going to take leadership. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, the turn order is Sputnik. Mm -hmm. you got oh, one. shit. I have to go first. That's right. Yes. Um, okay. So I gained three command tokens. Where do I pull those from? Your little command token so right here. This one? Only, only if you would like to, to do that right now you do not need to do that as your first action and and command tokens give me uh the ability to do more stuff do do i have to lose them if i don't use them no okay uh, you do not but uh, uh i'm just saying that you don't you do not necessarily need to do that as your first action you can 
uh, go and take over planets first, if you would prefer. Oops. I just did something. I don't know what I did. Oh, okay. It's dealing me there. Okay. So I deal three to myself. Yeah. You put a token in my, my secret box. Uh, it, no, you back. don't want to deal them. No, no, no. Oh, I don't deal don't. them? Yeah. Let's no, all give them back to Phoenix. Sorry. Sorry. Just pull what through. Did I, what did I say in this about bag. this shit? It's all right. You can, you can physically just reach in and grab them out like this. But I thought that's what I was doing. And well, I also had to go into my... Oh, I see. I got it. I got it. Okay. So I definitely want to add one to strategy. I'm going to add two to strategy and then one to tactic. Okay. And then the uh, next thing I can do is spend any amount of influence to gain one command token for every three influence spent. Um, and the influence is the blue color. Yes. Yes. I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to flip any of these over yet. That only gets me one token. I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. That's reasonable. Does that, does that work? Yeah. Like there's nothing else I can so, do, right? I can only do the so, top. Yes. Okay. So now everyone else, um, going around clockwise from Sputnik can spend a strategy to or can sorry spend three influence to gain a strategy token as many times as you want so I don't have three influence to spend so Aww. I cannot do it uh, Pondu you can don't have three influence to spend so you cannot I do, do it not. Uh, I have no wish to do no so no ability and um cotton on the other hand uh -huh. you do have the ability you have the three available if you would like to do it um it's early it may be good to have extra tokens or it may be good to hold on to that money uh where is, is uh, trade goods a token yes and and sorry you might have explained this but how do we get action cards uh you draw action cards at the end of the round ah okay or by spending a uh, one from your strategy pool during, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the politics. Yes. Okay. Uh, but you don't start with any. Uh, I believe uh, that will make it my turn politics. now, correct? That is correct. Uh, so let me say, I need to activate a system in order to move there, correct? Yes. And I use a tactics command token to do so? Yes. Or a strategy so token to do so? Tactics. Very well. Uh, I will place my tactics token. Oh, so you don't system. have to start by using your strategy card. You can do other stuff. Yes. OK. I'm going now, to move a carrier containing two infantry. Your carriers do not have a movement of two. They only have a My goodness, of is one. that true? It has this very well. I move has... this location that is much closer. There you go. No problem. And do does the, the turn thing. order work? The turn uh, order so... is based on uh, the card. The yeah, right it's like a, it's like an initiative order. Yes. When you pull those strategy cards, the number at the top is the actual turn order for the round. Gotcha. Yeah. I move ships. I am going to invade both planets, committing one okay. infantry to each. No problem at all. So just drop those on there. There's the planet deck so I can draw my new friendly planets. Uh, over here. All right, what did I get? Okay. Pick I... the Grawl and Centauri. Yep. And that is the extent of your turn. So we'll go ahead and move on while you start fishing out those. So uh, next is going to be uh, Cotton. Uh... So moving to another planet is tactics? Yes. So you take one. I don't know what about if this this is going to affect me moving to this planet or not. Is that doing so things? This is a wormhole. Uh -huh. It is connected to that wormhole over there. So those two um, tiles are essentially connected to each other. So Okay, so it's not going to be like you move here and you die. Kind of no, thing. no, okay. not at all. All right. We could house rule that in if you want. I know. I no. This game's hard no. enough already. <laughs> and then I guess I'll I'll just take over this little thing. Okay, no problem. Oh no. <laughs> yep. 
stand up there. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now the planet deck is over here. You can just go ahead and pull the planet out of there. It starts face down with the gray side up because it uh, is or it comes into play exhausted. So. Now, when can we use somebody else's secondary? Only when they use their primary? Yes. Okay. Correct. So nobody used my secondary, right? Correct. Where so I, I just flipped it over. Yes, flipping it over is correct. Okay. Planet stack uh, is right here. Generic planet stack. Okay. And uh, Panu, are you going to be using your uh, trade strategy right now? I don't. What are commodities needed for, typically speaking? Okay, so commodities are like baby trade goods. Okay. They're not trade goods yet. When you trade them to somebody else, they become trade goods. But basically, as long as you have the commodities, this is something your planet, your people produce in such excess that you just want to offload it. But other people are like, oh, wow, this is so exciting. And you're like, but it's just ham. Okay. For instance, so, in America, we uh, we would have blue jeans as a commodity. Everyone else wants them. And rock music. Blue okay. jeans, cheeseburgers, and rock music. Yeah. So is it every, I don't know, like two or three commodities equal to a trade good? No. It's one for one as long as you trade them as such. But someone could negotiate and say, you have two commodities. I will trade you my one commodity for your two. And you would get their one good. It, it would flip to become one trade good for you and two trade goods for them. That's, you know, that's a really dickish power play, but it's something someone could do. Mm. So if you activate your card right now, you'll get three trade goods, plus you'll replenish your two commodity supply. And you can choose a number of other players to also replenish their commodities. Has anybody spent their commodities yet? No one has commodities. No one starts with commodities. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I will. I'll go ahead and use it. Okay, so flip your commodities over to trade goods, because then you get three trade goods. Uh, and then you get two commodities tokens in your commodities area. What are this is the part of the game that I know pretty well. <laughs> of course I was you like, do. You Emerson Vakan is all about trade. I better learn how the trade system works. He didn't read the rule book. He just read the strategy. I don't guide. know how combat right. works. <laughs> it's fine. Combat's easy. Just roll some dice. So it was like, it's the race that you pick when you want to talk to other people. And I was like, boom! Yeah. Norm normally you have to have... Uh, at least a ship bordering uh, in a hex bordering a hex that they have a ship in or a planet in order to be neighbors in order to talk to each other but like Khan is out there just all the time constantly uh pondo would they you like to allow people. any other players to use the trade secondary for free i mean yeah i want to use it i wouldn't mind i know you wouldn't mind um Oh wait, you decide if he decides. Could use it or not? I decide. Yes. If uh, if he doesn't say yes, you can spend a strategy token to unlock it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, even if he doesn't say yes. Oh, okay. I will say is it just one person or any number? Any number. Any number. Think about who your you friends and enemies are. Everybody. You know? you everybody. Can say everybody except AP because he gets to do it anyway. And it's the principle of the thing. Isn't it better for him? To, say, why would you tell him everybody that? Everybody except It would have been Tulsa better to know whether I can she knows trust how to play this guy the game. that's. A, oh, you know what? I apologize. There's something that we missed. Uh, Kelsa and I get two trade goods to start with, and Pondo gets four because oh, of our yes. setup. Right? So uh, we each start with a bit you. more cash. Oh, is the trade goods from the resources? Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Uh, it it has it. to do with uh, where our starting is because yeah, we're it's because our planets are so together. close together. Everybody else has open wide vectors, cotton and uh, space turtles, and then the three of us are all scrunched together. Okay. So we get 
a little bit of that extra trade juice. And you get a I lot get of extra four? trade juice. You get four. Um, I, I, feel, I feel like they're doing something to us right now, and I don't... I'm I not don't... doing anything to you. No, it makes this me is... feel uncomfortable. This is legit. I'm not making I... this up. I should have thought of this earlier when we were first um, building the universe. Cotton, expect the Discord I... message from me post-haste. <laughs> I will let... <laughs> I will let Cotton and Sputnik replenish their commodities. Nice. Wow. So wow. now, do really? I have to? Now, does that mean I get to do it for free, or you yes, still have to you get to do stuff? it for free? You get to yeah. build your commodities up, which again are not trade goods yet. I so my I figure... commodities are four, so I get yes. four commodities. Correct. I figure since uh, since not all three of us don't know how to play relatively well, with uh, I figure we could use at least anything to help out. How do I tell what my commodities are? Right here, four commodities. Oh, okay. Hey, Spoonie. Right, Kelsey's touching my stuff. Yeah. Did you know that players can trade between each other at any time throughout a turn? I have uh, some commodities here. You've got some commodities here. Let's yeah. let's talk. How many? What well, I mean, how many? I'm the only one you can have? trade with. So I mean, yeah. you can do it. You can do it on your turn or in his turn, but not on Pondo's turn. Uh, are you sure that's true? I'm sure that's Very true. Very well. Okay. We'll we'll be back around. Okay. You we'll wait talk. For it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So these uh these they have a spot to go right here. And I can only command one fleet to go one spot, correct? For now. Uh if and you activate just... your card, that means you can't do anything else for the turn. Right. That is yeah, your turn one will action pass, uh, next initiative. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened to me too. That's okay. And actually, you should have we'll passed. Get through it together. You should have passed the cotton first because she has a lower initiative number. Oh, well, I was told to go, so I went. That's fine. Uh, did, I thought she did go. Yeah, she I did. did go. Did she? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Must have yeah, oh, okay. missed it. Yeah, she moved. She oh, that's got right. Lodar. I got sorry. I got distracted during that time. Okay, Eric so Volcaris now we flip over. Nothing. Flip over your trade. You should always help Eric Volcaris. Uh, <laughs> um, sure. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that means it's my turn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move over here. Uh, I'm going to take these two planets. I move a carrier along with these two infantry. One for each planet. No, nope, one for each planet. And I'll take a fighter too, just for kicks. And then it gives me Andor and Lore. And that is my turn. So we're back over to Sputnik. Okay, so I am going to move. Uh, allow me to offer you a trade, Sputnik. Now that it's uh, your turn. So now, does trading, is that all I can do on my turn, or can I no, trade? No, we can just do this at any time, but we can only do it once per turn. All right. All I right, got three so, commodities here with your name well, on it. I will trade three for four. That doesn't seem like a good deal. I know it doesn't, about... but let me, let me give you a reason why. You okay. can only trade with people that you have a border with. You well, have no borders with anyone, and it's unlikely that you're going to get borders anytime so soon. So you're you're asking me to pay uh, an extra. A tariff. small listen, I am asking for a small bit of juice to juice this vig. All right. How about, not, how about this? Listen, there's no stranglehold here. No, I know there isn't. But how about this? Rather than rather than juicing the vig right away, I see. Just to ensure that there is a level of diplomacy and agreement between both of our proud races i understand do an even one-to-one -one trade to start and then we can go from there uh allow me to hit you with a counterpoint okay in the future you'll have uh not better trade options no one is a better trade option than the emirates of Rakan, but you'll have more trade options and you'll have more ability to negotiate me to a one-to-one -one status I understand that, but I'm saying in the nature of creating and nurturing a friendly relationship between two races that have yet to meet one another. I agree. We do an even trade with the promise of in the future, as long as I am not physically neighboring you, I will pay a tariff to trade with you in the tune of adding one extra commodity uh, per trade. Now, for those at home, an agreement like this that takes more than one turn to enact is non-binding. He does not... If we do it now, it's binding. We must carry yeah. out the actions we agree to. But if there's a future thing, it's non-binding. Uh, 
You know, it's, a, it's a risk on both sides. I will, I will offer you one better, Sputnik. Okay. I will trade openly with you now and in the future. One for one. Three commodities for three commodities. All right. Let's do it. I can see that you don't enjoy the shakedown. No, it's fine. And there's no reason for neighbors like us to uh, to fight. All right. So how do I group three of these? Here, you do the thing. I'll take your three. Help me out. So these three. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm not helping. Where did you where did you move them to? They're under don't... they're underneath the sheet. You can see them. Oh, they're there. All right. Okay. Oh, it's you're just tearing you're tearing me apart. That's Kelsa. It's all Kelsa. Uh, everything okay. I did was correct. All right. So now okay. I have three that I flip. Yeah. Yes. And then you move. And they them go down them. here. Yes. All right. Flip. There you go. I'll let you do it. I'll stop ruining everything. Flip. And flip. I like that trade. I enjoyed that. Uh, okay. Neighbors or um, friends. So now I'm going to move. Uh, that is a tactic, yes. Correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So I will take a tactic token and I will pop it in this bad boy here. Uh, I am going to take uh, my carrier. Boop. I'm going to take uh, two of my dudes. Uh, I will place one there and one here. Yes, that's legal. And I will also take a fighter. So I've, have I done this correctly? You have one fighter with you, and you've invaded two planets, which yes. means you get both of those planets. Perfect. I get... They have uh, ridiculous production. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, I have... What is it? Bereg uh, and Lerda. Burger... Burger and uh, Leader of Cola. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. Yep. That doesn't uh, go, sound right to me. No. <laughs> go find those in the uh, in the planet list. Oh, God. Where is that? Over here? Over there, yeah. Oh, the nice hell? Uh, do what is, is there a search? Okay. Yes. yes. All, right. All right. Burger. Uh, there it is. I pull that out. Kay. And Leader of Cola. There it is. Uh, AP, it's your turn. I shall activate another system. Using and they are, and I'm sorry, they are exhausted, right? Correct. When I pull them out, yes. So that great. Oh God, what just happened? Accurate. They disappeared. Uh, I'm activating this system. And Where did they go? Place sorry, here. hold on. Um, they, my guys disappeared. They like swarmed into my hidden card deck and I don't know where they went. Hold on, I'll find them for you. Thank you. Sorry, go ahead AP. I'm activating the core need rescue loan system, uh, and as part of my turn, I am invading both planets. Pretty sure that this is the plot to Star Fox 64. Okay, seriously though, where did they go? They, they didn't go back in the planet deck, so I don't know. Where they went. They literally, like, I was setting them down and they went shoop underneath oh, this. One car. of your other decks might have taken it. No, I just checked the other decks, though. They uh, literally went is. shoop. You put them in the blue cruiser. Oh, that makes oh, sense. Oh, I thought I checked the blue cruiser. I guess I checked everything else but the cruisers. Okay, thank you. Come here, burger. Uh, cool. With that, my turn is concluded. Okay, that brings it to Cottontail's turn. Can I move these guys or can I not? No, because okay. there's currently a one of your command tokens there. Uh -huh. That means you cannot pull anything out of that system. Uh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. But you do have another carrier, so you could move that from your home system over here to. Yeah, but I can't do anything because I only have two infantry. Oh, well, you're going to need to make more infantry then, I guess. I guess I'll just do my my, my thing here. My construction. Okay, yeah. You can definitely so, do construction. Do I get both of those things? So you do the two things at the top uh -huh. in that order. So first, place a PDS or a space dock onto a planet that you control. So, so you I get just that. make another space dock. Yes, so you can make a space dock right there. Oh. Yes, okay. Secondly, place one PDS on a planet you control. So take a PDS and either place it on your new planet or one of your home planets. Uh, one of your home planets already has- Wait, did you say the, the space docks need to be on the blue ones? Ones with the most blue? 
Uh, no, they want to be on the ones with the most uh, yellow. Okay, then I put that right. Oh, no. Yep. Okay, and then... You know, Cotton, you can't oh, install PDS. them upside you have, down. It's you space. You have two PDSs already. Yeah. You have I want to put the it, planet. I want to put it there. Okay, but you get one more, is what I'm saying. Oh, I thought I thought those These were just floating in space. With. No, okay, they, my bad. they do belong on a planet. Uh, that's oh, awesome. should I, I be starting our PDSs on planets? Yes, if you have PDSs, uh, yes. they should be on a planet. Do I get to pick which planet? Yes. Would it be better to put it one on each of the starting planets? Sure. And then you get uh, your other PDS you put over here. Okay, perfect. Yes. It's, that planet's a little bit clouded. Crowded. Perfect. Yeah, All right. Everyone else may now choose whoa, whoa, whoa. starting with Sputnik. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I want to uh, trade if... with Cotton privately, but... Uh, go ahead and trade with Cotton privately then while we do this. It's still so it says place out. one token from my strategy pool and any system I can place either a space dock or a PDS. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Let me see if I'm going to do that. Um, it's a strategy token. Cotton. Is yes. that what I, I have to do? I see you have four commodities there that yes. you weren't using. So All right. So I'm going to, gonna, yeah, I want to do it where I've spread out already, I think. Okay. I was just thinking maybe Since you'd like to turn this commodities into cash. already have a token there, you cannot put another one. Oh, so no. instead, hold, you can still do the thing. You just are going to put that back in your bag instead of on the board. Oh, okay. This bag. Uh, right will, here, this which, bag. Oh, there it is. All right. So I do that and I'm going to put a, uh, what is it? Uh, space dock. Yeah. Yes. A space dock or a PDS. Or a PDS. I'm going to put a PDS right here. I'm entirely I'm confused. Is... Put it on this one. What's your question, Pondo? Boom. Why did I get my turn skipped? No. No. Cotton goes before you because she has a four. This is still Cotton's turn. Yes. Uh, uh, he's using I... a strategy token to activate Cotton's secondary ability. Yeah. So the secondary abilities go clockwise from the person's yes. strategy card. So that's why I just went first. Yes. And I'm going now. You can also yes. place a strategy token on there. So you can spend one from the strategy portion of your pool. Now there are two other cards out there that you might want to use this for. So one is APs that's going to allow you to draw um, action cards. Uh, and the other is mine that will allow you to buy technology. But in order to buy technology, you're going to need to have uh, for resources, so uh, you can't afford that. So you, I, I don't know which. If you would no, he think about, he's got four resources. Right, 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 right. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so I don't know if you would choose to. You're only going to be able to do two out of these three things. Is what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. So uh, there's no point to holding on to strategies, correct? Because. At some point, we will exhaust all of the strategies on the field, and then there won't be any strategy points left. In order to hold them over until next year is definitely a, a valid strategy to do. Oh, you, um, can you allow them to build up? Yes. Very well. Uh, let's see. I think that I will also play into construction to buy a space dock then. Mm -hmm. uh, and Pondo, are you going to be... Space dock already? I'm um, guessing I can only make a space dock for planets I control currently. Correct. So you can make a space dock or you can make um, um, a PDS, but you don't own any other planets, so you probably don't want to do that. Obviously, I don't want to make another space dock for the sector I'm in currently. Well, not only not that, it would, it would also put one of your um, triangles onto that hex, which means that you could not pull any ships out of it either. Correct. Oh. Then, then I will not. Smart. Uh, Cotton, I was just thinking. Uh, the Ryan, bag they go in is over here. Where's that? Right in the middle of your board. Oh, of course. That makes perfect sense. Cotton, I was just thinking, friend, you've got commodities, I've got commodities. What if we turn those commodities into trade goods for each other? Okay. You want to trade uh, three for four? I'd rather not, but I think you only have three, so sure. That's correct. Oh, well, thank you. Amazing. Let, let us... 
You, you realize you just gave him four trade goods, correct? I just so only three. That. I'm aware. He knows. But I have such a paltry sum to offer her in return. I, I've used deal, all of my trade goods, Pondo. As you can uh -huh. see, I've been so busy helping enrich the galaxy and making friends with everyone. Uh huh. Oh my god. I. Uh huh. So the good thing about knowing the public things is that we know that he can freaking buy a victory point now, right? Is that right? I could do so if I wasn't doing anything else, yes. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Okay. Interesting. My question is, is uh, when can you play your secret objective? Is that the very it's end? It's at the end, during the status. Oh. Or it says uh, if you draw the Imperial the card, I think maybe you can get some weird shit done there. Mm -mm. There's there's two times when you can score your secret objective, and it's gonna which one it is is gonna be based on what it says at the very top. So the first thing it says is gonna be the title of your secret objective, and the second thing it's gonna say either action phase or status phase, and that's the phase in which you can do it. If it says status phase, then that's at the end of the year, then you can score it. If it says action phase, then that means during this part where we're moving around the galaxy, if you meet the criteria, you can just do it right then. Okay. All right. Uh, and is now your turn, by the way. Excellent. Uh, I will. I'll be heading towards this direction. Uh, which one do I need to put? The fleet token? Or is no. it a tactic token? Uh, it's a tactics token. Okay. And if I have this there, my, the ships that go into there cannot pull out. Is that right? Correct. Not this round. Not this year. Uh, damn, Pondo, uh, no, your planets are fucked up. What? Look at these little production assholes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and they both have war technology on them. Hey, uh, could I potentially, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. could I potentially have ships go to there as well? No, no. not this turn. So essentially, if I take this spot, no other ships can get through there to get to the next. Correct. Place. Do you no. have a ship that has two move? Hold on, hold on. I do. You, you do have a ship that has two move, but it cannot claim a planet because it doesn't have any capacity to put a infantry, infantry, infantry? onto it. Okay. But even if you go here and you if you put your guys here and you claim these planets, if you still want to move your destroyer over here so that you're like hanging out next to Mechatol, you can do that. You just uh, you can pass through this system. You just can't stop there. Are okay. you sure about that? I thought you yes. couldn't move through an activated system. No, you cannot move to an activated system or out of an activated system if you started there. But you can still move through it if you started on the other side and end on the other side. A ship cannot move units out of a system that contains command tokens. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I'll buy that. So if I, a quick question, if I move into a uh, spot that has this wormhole, yes. do I automatically jump to the other one or do I have to no. move again? You have to move again. Okay. Uh, essentially, these wormhole spaces, instead of being adjacent to six tiles, they're adjacent to seven, and the right, seventh right, one right. being the other side of okay. the wormhole. Cool. So I'll claim that planet, uh, claim that sector, and uh, invade both planets if Perfect. I can. Very you well. sure can, and you do. Is there I... anything else that I may be able to do? Uh, not right now, no. Well, okay. listen, Pondo, there is something that you could do. Oh, yes, oh, I'm sorry. You can ah. trade with the Emirates of Hakan. No, what want. I was going to say was, now, <laughs> You, can, you whenever your people are hungry, they could just say, "I'm thinking obbies." <laughs> I mean, in all of the years I've played this game, I've pronounced that abyss, and I've never thought of that joke. So, congratulations. Uh, we have good times around here. Okay, uh, that brings well, don't it to congratulate my turn. him. And I'm going to move over here with my guys. Boop. 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 And if Good I know some other people have some shitty planet systems as well. I mean, this is specifically set at, like, this particular setup is designed to so that we all are going to have similar shitty planets. Uh, so <laughs> Pondo. 
any... I have no influence. I mean, I've got sure, you don't have any influence, but you're out here producing. <laughs> uh, that's the end of my turn, which makes it Sputnik. Right. So... Um... You want to make some okay. moves? Made some moves. Well, yeah, so you my question is, moves. if I... I still control these planets even if I move my infantry off of them, correct? Yes, but you can't move units out of a system you've already activated. Right, right. Interesting. Uh, I wonder then if it's worth it. So yellow is production, blue is influence, yes? Yes. Hmm. If I, if I pass, that does not mean I'm out. I can still come back and play later. It means you're out for this year. You will. Yeah. Oh, done. I'm completely out. I'm done. Yes. Okay. Yes. You don't want to do so that. So we. Think. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet because not all the strategy cards have been played. You can um, still do the strategy cards. You just won't have your own turn to do a thing. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, because there's not. I mean, I mean, seriously, what else can I do? Though I don't. Ha I don't have an action card. I can't take a component action. Uh, you still have these. Ta so one other thing you can do. Mm -hmm. um so you can still move things out of your home system yeah um, even though you cannot move any infantry and claim any um uh ship or you know uh, planets you could still move your ship somewhere if you wanted to i actually um, i am going to do that actually uh, i'm going to take a tactic thing and i'm going to put it in this wormhole okay and i'm going to take a cruiser okay and bop them in there sure Brunick, do you have a thing at the top that says end turn? Yeah. Okay. Should I click that? When you're done, click that, and it should... Yeah, yeah, there it is. All right. You can see at the bottom, wow. it's automatically... Has that, been, yeah. has that been up there the whole time? It has been. Yeah. <laughs> it's not necessary. That's like I had a booger yeah, in hand. Yeah, but it gives, it gives a little text to something. tell us when we're doing cool stuff. That's like, no, I just had a booger in my nose, and you didn't tell me for like an hour. Thank you. I didn't know about it until right now. I was like, wait a second. When I was playtesting this, didn't it do that? <laughs> L listen, it took me right. forever to figure out you couldn't unpack a token at a playset that di you didn't match the color of. I kept trying to unpack at the purple <clears throat> one, because that's the first one you load at. And it was like, can't unpack, can't unpack. I was like, ah, fuck you, table. It took me like 20 <laughs> minutes to figure out I had to be the purple player. Hmm. Uh, I believe that would make it my turn, correct? It does, and that's why you have a little end turn thing at the top of your screen now. Uh, You've got a booger in your nose. Yeah, so I you know. know. That's... I'm so, letting you know, as a friend. Let me talk about production, right? What I need to do in order to produce. I would have to use my own planet... Right, I'd have to activate one of my own planets that has a space dock in it and build from mm -hmm. there? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, we can produce right now on our turns? You you can spend one of your, toke, your tactics Tax tokens, tokens to produce. on a place that does not already have a tactics token that you have a space dock at, and then you can build stuff. Gotcha. So let me think about this. I apologize. I probably should have done this before. But... What are fleet tokens used for? That's the fleet maximum tokens. number of ships that you can have in any system at the mm -hmm. end of a turn. So if you have more fleet tokens, that means you can have a larger fleet. And you, being the space vampires, have two free tokens that are just always there that you can never get rid of. You can have zero in your fleet pool and still have two ships in one system. Okay. That's one of your special abilities. Excellent. Oh, right. I'm sorry. While Arthur Excellent. is deciding, I am going to refill my drink. Yeah, wise move, wise move. I didn't think that worked. Uh, I will build a carrier for my, well, sorry, I should start at the beginning. I activate my own system. Yes. Okay. Uh, walk me through the next part. Okay, so you said you want to build a carrier, right? Yes, it costs three. Is that three trade goods? 
that is three production okay. which can be by flipping over these two planets together that will be three or you can spend trade goods uh so and i don't have to have... spend trade goods but i can you... interesting yes uh you also have the technology called sarween tools so when you produce um use production the combined cost of production is reduced by one so this is not no, per no. item this is just the overall the total okay all right so I don't have any reason to not use these planets this turn. So I'm going to spend three. So I'm gonna build a carrier. I'm gonna build uh, two infantry. That brings me up to four. Mm -hmm. uh, but I only need to spend one so far. Nope, you don't need to spend any so far. Well, the infantry, well, okay, it's technically, yes. I have free, four, three production, and I get an extra one for free for Sarween mm -hmm. tools. I also would like to build uh, a unit of fighters. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Okay. When you when you produce, where do they pop out at? Your home uh, the space dock system. Wherever, whatever space dock you activated in order to build them. So a quick question then. So let's say okay. So a carrier costs three to build. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can't combine a two and a two planet no. as four. No, 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 no. Stop. The what planets you spend in order to make the thing mm -hmm. have no correlation whatsoever to where that it's happening at. Oh, okay, nice. So you can just produce on all your planets to get like ten production points and then just pop them all out at a space dock. Because, yeah, the production is the popping it out of the space dock part. Gotcha. You spend the goods uh, flipping those planets over to have all of those goods shipped over to that place. Awesome. Okay. So you build um, two fighters, a carrier, and you should also give yourself two infantry. Correct. And is that all, all going of your on things? the magical planet? Two. I should have got uh, the two planets I conquered, correct? Yes. Yes, you get those cards. Okay. But they're exhausted. They're flipped over. Yes. Okay. Yeah, when you pull them out of that deck, they're automatically exhausted. Which but you can flip nice. them over and read their... their mm -hmm. uh, I have a planet that's the only one that makes star flowers. Magical. Uh, oh, this one's rumored to make bacterial weapons. But, Cod, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I you just... shouldn't have told me that. Oh my god! That's so so weird I'm so shit. cotton. I, yeah, it's just well, you know. Cotton, cotton, please. Just room wait to harbor hidden caches about a lot of bacterial weapons, but it's my new one, so technically I didn't do that. I end my turn. <laughs> cotton, you are now the go, the two go. I have a question. Yes. If I make inventory and I put my little tactics here, because it's the only other space I have, I won't be able to move them out, right? Correct. Not this year. You're making okay. them for next time. I I don't know how many turns is a year. Uh, after everybody passes, that's the end of the year. Okay. We haven't had everybody pass yet. We haven't had but, anybody pass yet. Well, right. we're all running out of tactics tokens, so... We're going to be passing soon. You know, it's going to happen quite soon. I guess I'll try to make some infantry if you tell me how to do that. Sure. Okay. You put a tactics token on it. So you put a tactics token on it. There's a tactics Good. token on it. All right. Now you can build stuff. Okay. So... You can build, so you want to build two infantry, right? Yes. So pull two infantry out of your bag and just set them down for right now. Uh, off to the side. What else okay. do you want to build? What else? I don't know how much I have to spend. So you okay. have the That's production of your two planets, which is three. Okay. And then three and trade, trade goods. goods. So you so can do a maximum of six. six. Uh, you also have Sarbean tools, so whatever value you add up to total is going to be reduced by one. So essentially, those infantry are free, and then you still have six money to work with. Basically, you, you have may, seven total now. You may want to save that money and just build those guys there, because if you want to use your um, special power in order to I do, do, want to do technology... That. Um, fancy, you're going to need six money in order to do to buy two techs. So I have six money right now. You currently have six money. If okay, you I'll, buy anything I'll else, just leave it there. I'm leaving it there. You, won't. you okay. only have three uh, money. I'm happy. 
No, no, this counts as money for these purposes too. Oh, the production? Yes. Very well. I shall stop talking. I, uh, I will keep my six money. Okay. Because I just wanted two inventory anyway. Great. Can I, uh, I can just put them anywhere, the two inventory? No, they go on your home plan. They go on the planet that you just, the in the system you just activated. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I hear That's fine. I want to play with my carrier anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, and then you hit the uh, end turn button at yeah, the top. Of the yeah, screen. I saw. I saw. I was fixing my my infantry. Flipped over. Mm hmm. Pondo, your turn. What would you like to do? Hmm. I think I'm going to. Oh, what is it? My dreadnought. Oh, yeah, I'll take my dreadnought. I will take my dreadnought with a. I think I messed up. I should have took the fighter somewhere else. Because the fighter has to go on a carrier, correct? Or right. something that has capacity. So your dreadnought has a capacity of one. So Which you can take, can take either a an infantry shock. or a dreadnought with, uh, or sorry, either a fighter or an infantry with you. Yeah. And your dreadnoughts have a movement of one, so they can only move one space. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my dreadnought. In infantry over there and invade. I'm going to invade. No, I'm He's invading the war planet. I'll take the mirror. Is that a war okay. planet? Yeah. So the red icon next to it means that if you use that, you can spend that during a technology buy. No, that's this. The, well, it also has it. That red uh, symbol means that is a hazardous planet. That term hazardous is important for certain uh, agendas that come up during the voting phase and for certain action cards that come up that we don't have any action cards yet. But this red symbol right here uh, is what you can use. You can flip over the card. Um, you can flip over that planet and use it as if it was a red technology for prerequisite purposes. So it lets you skip tiers and research better stuff. Interesting. So uh, if I use it to for research, it would I would flip it over to exhort it, or does that yes. come into play? So right now it's okay. flipped over as already um, because exhorted. I conquered it. Because you conquered it, yes. Um, but once you have it back next year, you'll be able to use it either for its money. Uh, sorry, it doesn't have any money. So either for its influence or for it being a technology. Uh, then go ahead and hit your end turn button. I guess I'm ending turn. Cool. That's interesting. Uh, and grab your planet out of the thing. I already uh, did. Speaking of technology, I'm going to do technology. I'm going to play a strategy to do secondary in your technology. So, um, unfortunately, I can only... Oh, no, I do have... Because I have two trade goods and I have four from my home planet of Jord. Um, I can go ahead and do both. I'm spending four trade goods to get a tech. So, can I spend my six money to get a technology now? Yes. yes. So, you would, you have to spend a strategy token as well, or do you get it for free? No, it's a strategy token. Okay, so you spend a strategy token, okay. uh, put it in the bag in the middle, and then you get a free technology plus your six trade goods will get you a second technology. I just draw, draw, draw a random card from here, or? You don't, uh, it's not random. You'll, you'll definitely want to pick carefully the oh. one that you get. So the prerequisite uh, on the lower left-hand corner, you have to have one of each of the things. So you notice that some of them in the bottom left have like two blue or two red or red and yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll need to have each of those. But because you're Jolnar, you actually ignore one prerequisite. So you can jump ahead on the tech tree like a boss. I just I, I can pick whichever one I want, but I can pick two. Yes. Okay. I am taking Pearl Motivator. Yeah, I'm going to do do that secondary as well. I spend one strategy token and four resources. So I would flip both my 
planets and spend a trade good, yes? Uh, to get yes. four. So get four? Yes. Yes. <laughs> correct. That goes in there. And I can only take, so now, does this count as having two yellows or it only no, counts as one? one? one yellow. Okay, so, so there's only one technology card I can get. Hold on. Yeah. So there are, there are four, there are four technology cards that have no prerequisites. Really? Um, plasma scoring has no prerequisites. It's the base, the beginning of the red tree. Oh, I see, Starving I see. Tools, uh, has uh, no prerequisite. It's the beginning yeah. of the yellow tree. You actually have the second tier of yellow to start. Um, neural motivators are the beginning of the green tree. Uh, they have no prerequisites. And then anti-mass anti -mass deflectors uh, or have no prerequisite in the, the beginning of the blue tree. So, okay. So is there a better yellow card that I can get right now then or no? Because I only have one. There's, there's only one yellow card that you can get, which is Sarween Tools. Yeah. And that's the one that I want. Okay, if that's the one that you want, then then yes, there's only one card you can get. Okay, Sarween Tools are out rules, man. Yeah, I know. And it'll get you some good stuff later down the line. Yellow is awesome. That's why I want it. Okay, did everyone get a technology that wanted a technology? Yes. I'm going to have to get... Oh, hold on a second. So, uh, so essentially, I can get... You get warfare. a blue or a red... What the hell just happened? What is this magic up here? Uh, so this is where you get to say what you're buying, so it'll show up in the thing. I just realized this was a thing. Oh. I told you I haven't played with this particular. I don't know what before. this is. I'm so scared of it. Just click, 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 click on whatever you bought. Uh -uh. Uh, that you're way. Buying two technologies over here. What is this madness? And then you say close. Well, that's what I get for being. Tech, playing technology. Uh, after you win a ground combat, you may place one infantry from your reinforcements on that point. What the heck, Kelsa? You're just shitting infantry out all over the place. Uh, I mean, that's my deal. I told you. Humans gotta poop. Humans, humans poop listen, out soldiers. That's what we do. I just want to give a cold shot here. Kelsa versus Pondo is gonna be. <laughs> The I don't want to fight Pondo. I don't, I don't want to fight the I don't vampires. Want to fight Pondo either. Vam vampires are the natural enemies of humans. I don't know that that's true, but <laughs> I would. Pretty sure that books have been written about this. Uh, so everyone, cl click on the thing that you chose so that it shows up in the thing, um, which is going to be Cotton and Pondo. If you have made technologies, uh, click on whichever one you chose in the. So what technologies can I make? I must ask. Okay, sure. Let's take a look here. You can so, take anything with a red or a blue prereq. Yes. Hey, Kelsa, so, did I do this right? Because I could skip one. So I can take ones with the two? So you can take one of one that has two. One of one that has two. Okay. Because it's... Uh, da, 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 you, you can take Majin, Tool, oh, no, no, Defense Grid. One. Yeah, you can do both of them since they're not any anytime. So you Star can do Wing both tool, of these. Tool, Neural Motivator. If you want to do both of these, you can, because you can anytime. It's it's not just once per thing; it's anytime. So I can take uh, both of these. Yes, you can. And so I, so in order to, do I have to spend money to get? The technology? Yes, you have to spend four yes. monies. So you spend the you spend the one strategy and four monies, uh, so you okay. can flip over this planet Arc Prime, and that'll be the four monies. Uh, I think I want to save that so I can build. Stuff. I mean, it's either that or spend trade goods. Trade goods are more versatile. I'm gonna throw this and at you. also will persist from round to round, from year to year. Whereas the what so you have since here, that has my space station on at Arc Prime, does that also mean the six from Arc Prime counts towards that? You mean the four, no. the two? Yeah, no. the two from the uh, space station. No. Okay. So that, I will. That's just a build limit. So I need. So I can get a just a one tier, essentially. Yeah. So. So. Sarween tools. I'm gonna throw this out here. Gives you a yellow. Uh, that yellow is necessary in order to build your special L4 disruptors. It also several of your ships like cruisers and dreadnoughts need it for their upgrades. That yellow is gonna give you a expanded list of options. 
The other things you can get are Magan Defense and uh, Gravity Drive, which lets you move an extra space. Yeah, that Gravity Drive is pretty good. Well, it's good for reinforcing. I'll get the... I'll get the uh, Starwing Bulls. I just I put it on I feel the like I might be shooting thing. myself in the foot. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty powerful early game card. Yeah, I it mean, is, hopping is. directly to L4 Disruptors means that he can't be shot down by space cannons while invading. Yep, taking L4 Disruptors is basically signaling to everyone <laughs> that I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> It says all players have responded, which means I think that Pondo chose pass instead of picking a thing on that box. I probably press pass, but okay. you know. It's fine. Okay. So because of sorrow and tools, that means it costs me one less to produce something, yes? Correct. All right. So I have two trade goods which I can spend to make a carrier. Is that right? Yes. Okay. You'll have to activate your home system. How do I do that? You got to use a tactic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tactic. Okay. Got it. Tactic. You really have four tactics to start with? No, um, I, I gained more for my uh, strategic stra strategery card. Strategery yes. Card. Um, all right. And I will uh, put both these boys in my thing. To go here. And I will build a carrier, which is this guy. Mm -hmm. And he poops out right there. Perfect. Okay. And then you hit I, enter. I did a thing. Good job. Uh, I activate the politics card. And I would like to open the bidding for anyone that would like to buy the speaker token. <laughs> is anyone interested in getting first pick next round other than Kelsa? Uh, also, flip the t token over and hit play so that it will uh, put that in the log. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, no one's interested in getting first pick at their I don't have anything to give you. I mean, I, That's true. I get second pick, and I don't know how to play, so I'll just take second pick if someone buys Well, it. it's not going to be me anymore. I'm definitely 100% uh, not going true. to be the speaker. That's true. That's true. What do I need to say? Wait, who will, who will the, be the speaker after you then? Does it just go clockwise? Oh, I, get to, I get to pick now. Yes. That's oh, why that's I'm right. opening sale for anyone that has anything oh. interesting. No, I got nothing. Cotton? I'm broke. That <laughs> is true. You waited too long to do this, my friend. Uh, Don't you have three... Commodities right here. Maybe you spent. No, them I spent them. I just didn't know where to put them. Oh, they go back. They're, in the they're not in my commodity they're square because of that. Okay. Go back up in here, friends. Uh, maybe we can talk trade agreements, or maybe not. I'll just take the speaker token. I thought you we were playing with. Yeah, there you go. I will okay. uh, become a speaker. You're right. I did Next. wait too long to sell this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next is draw two action cards. And where's that action card deck at? Uh, I have a thing with action cards. You go way back. With you can trade cards. them. Uh, yes, but I just got a technology that allows me to do something more. That, that is, is during, during the status, the status phase. Okay, cards, which is not now. Look at the top two cards of the agenda deck. Oh boy. Then you place each card either on the top or the bottom. So basically, put them on the top or bottom in any order you, you like. Go ahead and draw these Everyone two cards has the option now to uh, spend a uh, strategy token in order to draw two action cards, starting with Cottontail. Would you like to do that? I just spent my token. OK. Hit so the secondary button on that little menu that popped up. Oh, OK. Perfect. Uh, Spootnik, you have Yes, I would like to spend a strategy token. OK. And then you draw two action cards from over here. And what do I do? Right click, draw? Just, uh, just hit the number two while you're mousing. While I'm over it? I'm doing that. 
that's it done ah and then oh you also click the secondary button so that what's the secondary works. button on the little menu that popped up uh, oh i see click where it says secondary got it there you go uh, i'm also using the secondary i'm having a hard time getting these into my box like my box does not pop up very well um here Thank you. Now, y'all can't see these action cards, right? Correct. OK. Oh, geez. Are we see, putting my, this? My, my box has got like a weird box. It does, actually. Like, I got the one card in there, and it was a, I can't. I can't. OK, put, put your mouse over, over this card. Mm -hmm. Put your mouse over it. Hit, no, don't click on it. Just put your mouse over it. Now hit the number one. There you ah, go. Magic. Thank you. OK. Uh, where do you put the strategy tokens after you spend it? Uh, in the there. little bag in the center of your thing. Interesting. Indeed. OK. And did you draw your two cards? I did not. Where's okay. the deck? Deck is over here. If you just Excellent. put your mouse over the top of the deck and hit the number two on your keyboard, it'll put two cards into your deck in your hand. Okay, well, I, I didn't. I, it I works. did it the hard way, but I got it to work. It worked. It worked. Okay. So, uh, AP, your turn is over. Go ahead and click the. Wait, wait, wait. before my turn oh. is over. Oh, you're going to do some trading. Okay. I am going to do some trading. So, I've already traded oh, yeah. with Cotton and uh, Sputnik, so I can no longer trade with them. But I can trade action cards for other Wait, people's action cards or tickets. On this turn, you traded with them? Both? What? You traded with them yeah. on this turn? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Well, I mean, in this year, he traded with us. No, it's, it's on your turn, so you can you can do it still this turn. This Either action, way, you can do it. I, uh, I'm interested in Pondo. He's got a big pile of trade goods there. I have some very mm -hmm. warlike action cards. Mm-hmm. If you have action cards that uh, might suit a pacifist like myself, ones involving trade or defense, uh, or if you prefer to pay money to get a little extra something something for your fleets, a little bonus damage, a little, little bonus to your rolls, maybe. I am. I'm good. You sure? Yep. All right. I got Very some well. pretty saucy uh, action cards here. You know, the thing about action cards is you think you've got a lot of them until you... So when you use an action card, is it gone forever? Uh, it goes into the discard pile. Theoretically, it could be cycled okay. back through. But so it's, it's, like, it's not like I exhaust it and it comes back. It goes to the discard pile. Okay. Yes. Uh, I passed my turn. Okay, cottontailed. I... Don't think I can do anything, so I pass. Okay. Okay, did you hit the uh, end turn button? I hit the pass thing up there. There you That's go, even bad. better, perfect. Pondo's turn. Yay. All right. So <laughs> I can't move anywhere else. Uh, if I just sent a ship somewhere, I can, well, I don't know what I could do, technically speaking. So I guess I can make stuff, correct? Yes. Uh, what is the cost of stuff? I should okay. probably figure out. It shows it right on your, on your board. So, um, okay. so infantry cost, infantry cost one. One will give you two infantry, yes. Okay. Um, I probably want to make a space dock. You cannot make a space dock. Okay, I'm too broke to make a space dock. Got it. Thank you. you, have to, you have make, construction. Yes, you make space docks with the construction strategy, not um, you don't buy them with production. Gotcha. Alternatively, no, I, I pretty much mainly want infantry and do I have four to, to, to do I have four 
correct? Uh, you have a lot of um, trade goods. But as far as like uh, plan, as I can expend it to. So remember, you have Sarween tools. So you have two planet to spend, plus you get one free from Sarween tools. So if you want to build something that costs four, it will only cost you one trade good. What does a space dock do? The space dock build is stuff where in different you locations. build it. Okay. It's where you poop your guys out. Yeah, so if you want to reinforce your front lines directly, you want to put a space dock in your frontmost location. Otherwise, they got to spend all their time moving from the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can only generate more space docks when I have the strategy. Yep. Excellent. Uh, and I can't research without the technology skills. Correct. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do is since I have three points to use I think I'm going to create uh, infantry and then a cruiser. Wow. Right? Wow. Right. Right. Uh, so when you buy one pack of infantry, you get two out of it. Right. Okay. You're buying six infantry and a cruiser. I no. just no. I, I one one group of infantry and a cruiser. Very well. Uh, and don't forget to put your tactics token onto your tile here. Correct. Also remember, your cruiser cannot pick up those infantry. Yet. Yet. Okay. Yes. That's this is a guy who's like, man, I'm gonna... That was so threatening. <laughs> yes. I'm going to get the uh, <laughs> Cruiser 2 pretty quickly. Let me, let me go ahead and look through your deck and see what Cruiser 2 costs. You don't even have to look. It shows you right, it's just right here. Uh... No, it's the technology research. He needs a green tech. Do I, aren't I supposed to start with like three tactics tokens? Why do I have a fourth? Uh, what do you mean? For reason, I have another tactics token. I've already spent three. Uh, did you buy one earlier? Did you gain one from uh, Sputnik's I have no card? Idea. He gives a command token. You might uh, just have one too many. Did you move one from the wrong spot before? I don't think so. That's fine. I'll just delete it. Now, unless it got moved over no, from the no, I, I think you you spent I think you spent influence to gain a command token from my card. Mm, he didn't have I, any influence to spend though. Oh, he I didn't? did not. Oh, so, so I put it in your bag then. I'll maybe, just put it in my bag. I wonder if it, it was from strategy and didn't make it all the way out. That's possible. very possible. Okay. okay, and then you hit enter. Enter. Excellent. Okay. Uh, that makes it my turn. And I don't have any money, so I'm going to just go ahead and pass. All right. I don't have any money either, but I'm going to go ahead and play an action card. Um, I'm going to play this guy right here. It says, uh, gain trade goods equal to the resource value of one planet I control. And I have one guy that is worth three right here. Planet Burger, so I'm gonna get three nice. trade tokens. From that. Cool. Three trade goods. Oh, I'm doing okay. it the hard way. In your discard pile. Great. Uh, and then hit enter. There it is. I pass. Easy enough. I already passed before, so I think I have to keep passing. Yep. Pondo. Um, I don't, I don't know what else I can do. If you can't do anything else, you can just pass. Because I don't know, can I spend money on anything? Theoretically speaking, or is it because I... You could spend oh. money trading with me. I've got these combat yeah, you... action cards. You don't have any tactics tokens. Okay, uh, so you need tactics so tokens. So you would you would need um, the 
you would need to either have an ability that lets you do something as an action or have a, a action card that you can play as an action. Otherwise, I okay. think you're out of stuff you can do. Can I just send a ship over to a planet or do you still need a tactics token? Nope, you need that? a tactics token. Okay, excellent. All right, I'll end my turn. Okay. Um, I have already passed. All right, so now because I've already spent a tax token where I have a space dock, I can't build again there? Or Correct. Well, then I have nothing else I can do, so I will also pass. Okay, that means everybody has now passed? Correct. Okay, so now it is the end of the year. So uh, the first thing that we do is uh, we score objectives, starting with the speaker, or no, I get, yeah, starting in initiative order. Um, so, Spudnik, are there any of the public objectives that you are able to score right now? Uh, I, there are not. Okay. Uh, do you have a secret objective that you can score right now? Uh, no. Okay. Yet. Yet. Uh, AP, yes. same question. Do you have a public objective you can score right now? Yes. Okay. Uh, Cottontailed. Where are the public objectives? Upper left. Uh, do you have so. five trade goods to spend? No. Or uh, nobody has ships around Megatol. Okay. Nope. Uh, Pondo, you have five trade goods. Do you want to spend them in order to get a point right now? Would you like to be the only person with a point? Yes, I will. Well, yes, sir. I would like that very much. Thank you. Play, player number one on the leaderboard. Uh, Who let then, the space vampires out? <laughs> uh, if you can score your secret objective, you may do so now. I cannot at the moment. Okay. Uh, I do not um, meet any of the requirements, so that is scoring objectives. Now the speaker will reveal the next public objective. So go ahead and flip over that third card and tell us what it is. <laughs> of course I will. It's this one right here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Found research outposts. Control three planets that have technology specialities. Nice. Um, somebody might already qualify for that. Uh, uh, those are the ones with what, yellow? No, uh, the ones that have a mark in the upper right hand corner. The... Uh, the upper, yeah. What mark? What is it? It's above the politics, the influence. There's a little mark up and right of it. Uh, uh, oh, this thing right here? I little think I have mark. one. Yeah. You have one. I have yes, one. Yes, you have one. I have one. Wait, uh, I don't understand. You have one. You don't have any spoon, Nick. That's what does it look like, though? What Over here. Look... Yeah, the little green thing. Yeah. Okay. You don't have okay. one, and there's none near you either. Okay. Well, I mean, there's one right next to me. Sure. Uh, the next step is draw action cards. So again, in initiative order, starting with Spudnik, draw one action card. Unless you have uh, the um, neural motivators technology that tells you to draw two instead. And we can only have seven action cards at any time, correct? Correct. If you draw an eighth card, you must discard a card before you draw another. So if, you would, <laughs> if you have seven cards and you would draw two cards, you draw one card, discard, then draw another card and discard. You like your card, Spoonik? No. Did you draw uh, a card? Yes, you did. Okay. Let's, I uh, mean, maybe we can talk about a trade. <laughs> I, I, you, would, you wouldn't like it either. I pay a fair price. Hey. I may not like it, but I might know somebody that does. Mm. Somebody that's not Pondo, who doesn't trade action cards. Mm. Uh, it's because uh, I like so... mine. You don't, but you could pay trade goods to buy mine. I don't, I had one of my trade goods for something else. I it, understand. Well, you Look, can't trade them right now anyway, because it's nobody's turn. But I get two of these here action okay. cards. You sure do. Uh, Condale. Mm. Uh, I believe you also have no motivators, so draw two cards. Okay, Pondo, you do not, so you draw one card. Didn't need neural stuff anyway. 
section. Schools are for liberal elites. And I also have neural motivators, so I will draw two cards. <laughs> Spoonick, what are you doing? I don't know. <clears throat> Classy. Um, next after that is going to be uh, removed command counters. So go and find your command counters that are on the board, pick them up, and then they're going to go back into your bag. They are the command not... counters. Yes. The command counters, the little triangles that go back into your bag in the center of your board. Okay. Uh, once everyone has done that, then you can gain command counters. You're going to gain two unless you have uh, hyper metabolism, uh, in which case you will gain three, unless you are the Federation of Soul, in which case you will gain an additional one for a total of four. All right, so, uh, and we can put them in whatever triangle we want? That is correct. You yeah. also can move your um, stuff around. Stuff around. So if you want to uh, make your fleet smaller, if you want to make your fleet lead larger, if you want to move one that got left in strategy somewhere else, whatever you Wait, want. Wait, how many tokens do I draw? Two. Okay. Why won't it let me pull one thing out of the bag? I keep moving the bag. What's happening? Uh, you're you're holding it too long. Just rip it out. Ah, uh, okay. Let me try that myself here. All right. So we draw two two tokens and put them in the strategy pool. Two tokens and then put them into any pool you want, and you can move your tokens around at this point so they can redistribute them from one pool to another. Um, what does the fleet do again? Fleet is how many, uh, how many uh, ships you can have ships, in any one system. Spaceships you can have in any particular system. Um, reminder to Pondo, uh, because of your special ability as space vampires, uh, you can have two additional ships above what your fleet capacity says. So if you would like to have tokens right now, you can steal them from your fleet capacity in order to have them for next time. Uh, don't forget to draw yourself two tokens. I feel like the space vampires are like thick with three Cs right now. Say, yeah. say this again. So okay. ship capacity is means, so I need to spend the tokens to keep them there? No. First, draw two All tokens right. out of your bag. That's the first thing. Okay. Put them wherever. You, okay. Now, move tokens from fleet into either strategy or tactics, however you would like. Okay. The ones that remain in fleet are going to be how many, how big your, how many spaceships you can have in one hex. But he can have plus two, whatever plus he has two. in fleet. So you can completely empty out your fleet and still have two spaceships per hex. Do fighters and do fighters count? Fighters and infantry count towards the count. No, fighters okay. and infantry do not count towards the count. Everything else does. Uh, well, space docks and PDSs also do not because those are both installations that don't move around. Okay. So. Would it be a bad idea just to leave one in your fleet? It can be. Uh, if you wind up spending those, you'll you'll notice it can be kind of hard to get more. So. I wouldn't recommend going down lower than two fleet um, unless you're the barony because they get two free for fleet for free and they cannot possibly go lower than that. Um, but if you're ever going to want to have more spaceships out there, you might just want to hang on to the larger fleet. But I'm, I'm reducing my fleet right now because I don't think I need it, but it may cost me later trying to get it back up. As the, so you uh, can't just put a token in there when you like rearrange them? No, you can. Yeah, yeah, when you rearrange them. But you only get, you know, two per end of your cycle um, plus whatever you buy from uh, leadership. And you could save strategy as well? Yes. So like uh, at the end of last round, I had one in my tactics pool that I did not spend and it's still there. And do we pick up the one, the tactics what's from the previous round? Are they just dispensed? Uh, once you spend them, they're gone. If they are okay, still on so... your board, they're still on your board. Okay. So at the end, I should remove my tactics tokens that I put on my board. The ones that you put on the board? You need to remove uh, those? Yes, you should have removed those already. You put them oh, back okay. in your bag. 
Okay, okay. Okay. Has everyone removed their tactics tokens from the board? Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, the next thing is ready cards. So all of your uh, planets, flip them back over so they're color side up. Uh, repair units doesn't happen because none got hurt. And then return strategy cards. So at the back uh, on the back of the card, there's a return button. So go ahead and press that to return it. That is handy dandy. It sure is. It'll go right back to its little spot. Amazing. Someone has not pushed their button yet. I don't have a button, so I can't push. Yeah, you do. It's right here. Oh, it's this the end of status phase? Nope, the one that says return. Okay, returning. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay, now starting with AP, uh, we're going to pick new uh, strategies. So. Oh, shit. Friends, I shall take technology card. Mm -hmm. It's a good choice. Okay. Cotton, you are the next choice. I'll take trade. Okay. Cool. Okay, next is Sputnik. Yeah, I'm looking around here. Um, I think Yeah, I'm going to take this diplomacy. Okay. Is there a way to easily do that? Yep. I got go it. Ahead and, there you go. You got it. Uh, now it's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and take warfare. <gasps> Kelsa. Uh, Kelsa. I'm such a warlike race. Uh, Who are you going to war with? There's Me. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Right, I'm, for you. I'm really worried. Come for that sweet, sweet you know, blood. Listen, the no. we, Emirates My of bugs. Hakan, we really feel like maybe war is not a good plan, guys. I didn't say I was going to war. I said my strategy was warlike. I think that card says warfare, not warlike. <clears throat> warfare, yes. Yeah. Uh, warfare is a lot like welfare. I will take construction. Okay. That's the sound of a man who wants that front line. Sound of a man. Who okay. Wants to a um. What? What it means production value as far as space stocks go. That doesn't add anything that you can build towards it, correct? Um, it says you, this unit's production value is equal to two more than the resource value of this planet. Right. So that means that whatever planet that uh, your space dock is on, it can produce a number of plastic tokens equal to that production value plus two. So like, what are these huge moves you're making? Before it becomes six. Look at that. We have we have a uh, order. So I I did a move. Uh, I get uh, the planet um, soda pop. So I'm gonna pull that out of the thing. Oh hey, we're neighbors. What's we're up? neighbors now. You know that What's guy that neighbor? lives on Sardor. Um, Sardor man. I'm on, planet, the wise. I'm on planet uh, Sardamor the Wise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is the head of this order. And then uh, hit your end turn button. Ponder, turn. it's now your turn. Excellent. I am going to... Um, I don't want to take this as an obvious question, but... Actually, no, I know what I'm going to do first. I'm going to actually come over to... Where's my token? My tactics my way over to that planet. You loading up all of your, all of your Arby's is? Okay. 
and since you moved your uh, since you're moving your guys off those planets those are still your planets to indicate that they're still your planets uh you want to take some of these little ownership tokens okay just drop them on there excellent okay yeah i did that for you you're, you're good uh don't forget to pick up your wellin i want my well and then next turn and then i'll have to next turn go over to uh medical prime like fly to it correct you have to spend the six six influence to take it yeah yep can i do that anytime I mean, you have to be able to fly into that space. You need to be able to, you have to activate the token. You have to activate the hex. Okay. So, so that's what I was guessing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Not quite there yet. Could happen soon. Yeah. Yeah. And I need an intern now. That'd probably help. <laughs> so it's my turn? Yes. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. So my red, green, green dreadnought has one capacity. Yes. So I can put an infantry on it. Yes. And it can move two. It can move one. Okay. I thought I thought it could move two. That was my bad. Yeah. The the move is here. Oh, dreadnoughts okay. can only move one. Yes. What do I need to do to get this cruiser? Get what cruiser? The, this the cruiser on my thing. Uh, you would need to spend two money when you're buying okay. a thing. Okay. So you don't have any um, cruisers right now. I, I'm aware of that. I noticed that when I was looking at the, the boards. But in that case, I will take my little dude. Okay. Well, where are you going? I'm going over here. Okay. So the first thing you do is you activate the system with one of your uh, That's right. tokens. Actually, I want to go to the other one because that guy can only move one. Like once I find, I want to go here. Okay. Cotton versus Pondo. Who will take Mechatol Wreck first? And I can leave that guy there, right? Spoon yes, well. Uh, you got some influence. Honestly, okay. I feel like Kelsa might eat you soon. <laughs> it's it's possible. I mean, I I don't have any thing to eat with. Also, uh, it sounds like you can shit infantry out at any moment. All you need is a knife. I can shit infantry out at any moment, but uh, he's space turtles, which means that he can just like turtle up and be like, "It's fine." It's very true. Um, let's see. Okay, so I think, hmm, I don't like that you took Salvador, and I'm just kind of stuck here. Um, I mean, there's a reason I did it, and it's not like a nefarious reason. It's just I there I have reason. No, mm -hmm, no, no, it's fine. I'm a turtle. What am I gonna do? That's okay. No, mm -hmm, that's fine. <laughs> I it's I didn't expect. Can you list a nefarious else. reason? I don't think so. I don't think nefarious. <laughs> I took this planet part. for reasons that are literally, female. Literally, me saying nefarious is like metagaming because my character, the turtles, don't even know that word. <laughs> it's not. A, there's no translation okay. in your language. Right. Exactly. Sure. But they have four words for kelp. <laughs> yes. Of course they do. Kelp. Kelpa. Kelp A, Kelp U, and Kelp M. Mm. I would have gone with Kelp A and Kelp B, but... <laughs> no, that'd be too easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I need to move around. So I'm going to go here. Oh, you can move into asteroids? Uh, if you have the technology to do yeah, so. Yeah, you got the freaking... Uh, what is it? Anti-mass deflector? Yeah. Yeah, actually... Uh, anti mass deflector says that I can move into yeah. and out of um, these things. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Well, it helps for mobility. Yep. Anyway, that was my turn. I am going to activate the 
this system. Okay. And an invasion. Done and done. I shall take New Albion and Starport. Now, how do we know that he still controls these two? I need to get a thingy. You need to take these little thingies out of your bag. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Doop, doop. There we go. Now you can see. And then hit the end turn button, unless you wanted to initiate some trades with some people. I am not prepared to initiate trades yet. Okay. All right, so I am going to uh, use the diplomacy strategy. I'm going to choose one system other than Megatol Rex. It contains a planet control. Each other play player places a command token from his reinforcements in the chosen system, then ready each exhausted planet I control in that system. So I don't have any exhaust. Uh, I do have an exhausted planet. Um, I'm going to, uh, we're going to do this one here. Okay. So everybody puts a command token in there from your reinforcements, not your board. Yep. Turn them in your bag. And I will unexhaust him. Now that means we wouldn't be able to move there this turn because it's already been Correct. activated for us. Exactly. And it also means that I'm going to use peace accords. After I resolve the primary or secondary ability of the diplomacy strategy card, I may gain control of one planet other than Mechatol Rex that does not contain any units and is in a system that is adjacent to a planet I control. So it is going to be the wow. guy. Yep. Incredible right play incredible play theoretically you could snag either one of these planets down here with this as well it doesn't I could. have to be the one adjacent to that i, I, just... I could but i'm gonna take that one i mean that, that is a better planet that's that's the uh the tar man so uh it's a man made of tar that i'm gonna now have in my control okay come here tar man uh, you click on the pl primary button of that little pop-up that popped up, and then anyone who wants to take advantage of the secondary hits secondary, otherwise hit pass and then close menu. Thank you. Anyway. I'll pass because that's not necessary to me at the moment. Pass. And it is your turn, Pondo. Uh, let's see. What is this system here? That is a nebula. If you look at the bottom of your quick reference sheet, it tells you all about the anomalies. Um, nebulas say ships cannot move through them. If you enter an anomaly, anonym. I nebula, also feel like someone didn't put a command token on this uh, thing. Uh, that would also be Pondo. Do I need to put a command token on it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just it's just to prevent war. And it comes from your reserve. It doesn't come from your player mat. It comes from your bag. There you go. Well, I guess I should not declare war on everybody right at the beginning. So that's, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, ships cannot move through nebulas. Uh, ships in nebulas have their movement set to one. And uh, plus one combat die uh, plus one to the combat dice results if you're a defender while you're in a nebula. So basically, you can easily go into a nebula, but it's hard to get out. What and does it take to get out? Uh, basically, no matter how much movement your ship would normally have, it only has one movement if you're in a nebula. Okay, okay that's fine. Uh, I... Mm. I really can't take any places because I made an agreement with AP. Though now he's getting a lot of planets that are being uncontested at the moment. Made an agreement. Friend. Friend. I I hear your discontent. Uh it sounds as if But I have another plan. You have another plan. I have another plan. That's a worrying plan. I'm worried now based on what you've just said. I'm going to activate 
Uh, Mechdolk Rex. Do you have the I'm six going influence? to use flank speed. I want to send my cruiser and yellow destroyer over to that to Mechdolk Rex. Okay. Uh, then you need to spend six influence. Uh, well, actually, I think it's when you land them that you spend the influence. Oh, you're just gonna squat on the planet, huh? Yes. yes. Oh, so you need to land infantry on it to spend six influence. Yeah, I to capture that's it. Correct. Wow. Saying, come at me, bro. Incredible. <laughs> Pondo, not only leaping I mean, the first place, but he's also just militarily the, declaring himself the emperor. You got there like one turn before I was going to. But that's okay. <laughs> I got Sorry. there one turn for a lot of people. Yeah, that's true. I think all of us. I was. I don't have any reason to go to Mechatol Rex, okay? Fine. Mechatol Rex is a fine planet. And I'm sure a lot of great things happen there. I can't, I look forward to brisk negotiations, but let me tell you something. I don't want to own it. We have nightly parties. They all happen at night. All business happens at night as well. We don't <laughs> like daylight. Uh, That's not shady at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> sunscreen is free. Uh, SPF 1000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter after 50, but we think it does. Of course. Well, I mean, for different... Uh, races, perhaps it is true. Yeah. I carry my be... sunscreen on my back. That would be my turn. <laughs> Players can freely move units into Mechatol Rex system, but cannot land ground forces. Thank you. Wow. That Pana the Mad. What an enormous... That's the chattest move that has been made so far. Do, do, this do is just throw a huge fleet right up there. If we move into Megatol Rex or any system that has another player's pieces, shit, we don't have to fight? Or can yes. we say, I don't want to fight you? You must fight. Oh. If uh, this is your first system that you're combating, you must fight. <laughs> so you cannot move through a system that has someone else's ships there unless you have an action card that says otherwise. If two different players have ships in the same system they must fight too there is no um there is no like we're cool bro yeah, now, it's, it's you the can fight have, club of twilight imperium you can have ground units on a planet and then they can be camping with their ships in your sky and you can't do shit about it but if if you both have spaceships then you have to fight. Oh, so if we go through a system where they just have ground units, we don't have to fight them. Yes, that's totally fine. If they okay. if they just have ground units, like technically this cool, planet, cool. Or this hex right here, mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. have any spaceships in it. I still own this system. I still own both of these planets. But theoretically, you could fly over my over my head. But if I and wanted to invade, I have a PDS those planets, so I can shoot you. Yeah. But... If I wanted to invade those planets, which I'm not saying I do, I'm just for rules purposes, there would have to be some combat involved for me to take out your ground units. Yes. Okay. Um, if you go for the planet that has a PDS on it, my PDS gets to shoot at you one time as your dropships come down. But right. if I miss, you just win. You mop up and clear out my guys. Okay. If you go on the sh one that has the infantry, then our infantry are going to fight each other until one of them is dead. Sure. Okay. Uh, and if can I, I put can I put two infantry on a planet against your yeah, one? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not saying I'm gonna do that. No, just, of course not. No, of course not. It's all just I am not a violent race. Hypothetically. Yeah. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically, yes. Uh, so Cotton, it's been your turn this whole time. What you doing? <laughs> I was gonna ask if this card here says you may exhaust this card at the start of your turn during the action phase and remove four of your ground forces and put them on a different planet. Am I reading that right? Uh, is where it, is this card you're talking about? I can't alt tap for some reason. I'm in tab. There you go. Right there. Transit diodes. Transit diodes. Okay. So basically, you can flip this over uh, in order to indicate you've done it. Uh, stars. But it has to be another planet that you already control. But yes, yes. it allows yes. you to quickly move in with three. So, so I could take. My infantry and this other three carriers in that. Nope, just That's the infantry. That's a carrier, which is just the infantry. infantry. Just okay. the infantry. 
Oh, wait. I could do that, though. It has to be to uh, one planet that you control. One planet? All right. No, one or more. <laughs> really? Place them on one or more planet wow, you control. incredible. Yeah, so Is you can just... Is that your faction tech? Yeah, that's the faction tech. No, it's not. I don't think. Is it? Um, but this is my faction text, the special conduit cylinder. Oh, 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 sorry. I was looking Which at Which I that one. have no idea what this does. You're right. Transit diodes, anyone can get that. The special conduit, conduit cylinder, I am confused about. I'm not actually doing that. I was just you can seeing what that does. But that's how you would flip it. Okay, you can exhaust okay. this card after you activate a system that contains one or more of your units. That system is adjacent to all other systems that contain one or more of your units. That's for uh, shooting space cannons on defense. Oh. Uh, okay. Among other things. It's also for just teleporting all of your guys there from across the galaxy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Cotton's just like, well, I can move all of my infantry and all of my space forces wherever I want, any turn, at all times. Don't, don't well, one, once, per of, uh, once per year. Everyone. Once per year. I think I just want to. I'm going to grab my, my thing. I think I want to do this. Okay. You just claim a new planet? Yes. Welcome to the real life. She got Tabitha. Okay. And then uh, grab Tabitha and your turn. My turn. Fabulous. Uh, I don't like any of my choices. I don't like any of them at all. They're terrible, every single one. Hmm. I, I really, I don't want, there's something that I'm doing and I don't want you to feel threatened because it really doesn't affect you in any way. Mm -hmm. Is it threatening me? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not threatening anybody. All right. Just saying. Sure. It's just that the way Kyle was just moving, become a I wasn't going to be shocked. You threatening me? You <laughs> what, what? The way Cotton's moving, I wasn't going to be able to do what I want to do. So it's okay. Don't worry about it. You don't want to go there, though. God damn it. You just activated something. What'd you do? I just flew into empty space with my guy. That's... I'm just trying to establish a border here. I don't. No, I told you don't. You I don't I... like that you took so. But I, I'm telling you that I'm not doing anything to hurt you. I, I mean, it okay. doesn't hurt you. It only helps me. Yeah, but this also helps me. By taking an empty space worth nothing. Yes. Are you gonna fly into the sun over here? Maybe. <laughs> 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 don't question me. I'm human. I'm crazy. I mean, you don't. I mean, apparently, I'm gonna take this. This fucking. I can't plant a flag anywhere, but I'm fucking going there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Does Kelsa have an ability or an action car that lets her move through supernovas, and then she'll jump her ship over to here? I don't know. Or maybe she just wants to control a larger border. As an inexperienced player, I don't have any idea what her plan is. <laughs> Very worrying. Uh, I am placing a tactics token on the main system, and I'm packing up my infantry. Dad boys here, Pondo, I'm delighted to have a border with you. A non-threatening defensive border. Mm -hmm. uh, where do I get one of these <laughs> ownership tokens? Where do I get that thing? So let's say I own this place. I'm glad you decide that these borders are non-threatening. Uh, I just want you to feel that I am not threatening you. Are you threatening me? No. Okay. More promises. I'd also like to good. wave to my neighbor, Blue Cruiser. Hey, what's up, dude? Huh? How's it going? Hi. Hi. Uh, and I believe that is it for me. Wait, why am I your neighbor? We are on opposite sides of this wormhole. Oh, the wormhole. Gotcha. Your blue cruiser and my carrier plus fighter and infantry are all sending messages of peaceful support, glorious trading opportunities. It doesn't feel peaceful. 
We have no quarrel with your kind. Can we trade through wormholes? Does that count? Yes. Yes. You, yes. If you border. Yep. Yes. So you can't trade with There's Pondo currently... or Kelsey yet because they don't control the wormhole. But yeah. But if we did, you could. Kelsey's out there about to build Deep Space Nine. <laughs> All right. So. Kelsa and I are the Jolnor people of Bajor. Kelsa, can I can I make a negotiation with you right now? Yeah, what's up? Where are we where are we can trade. What's up? Can I? Hmm, that's not going to work because it's a future action. Don't you trust me? I mean, I do wow. so far, but I also don't. That's fair. I'm crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to hold off on my proposal until it can become a binding proposal. Uh, so instead, I think... Well, I'm, I'm waiting for someone to pop trade, so I might have some bargaining chips called I'm, commodities. I am also waiting for I someone mean, to pop trade. You, you, well, that's the thing. So, okay. here, here Here's what I'm going to say. Um... I will give you two com uh, two trade goods, which is half of all my trade goods, with the promise that you next year will move out of That's this. That's non-binding. I know it's non-binding. Oh. oh. But the promise that you will move out of this empty space and allow me to move into it next year. So that that is. Uh, <laughs> That would and be not that that's going to be after we go all the way around, everyone has passed. It's yeah, but, so because you can't move out of there right now and I can't move into it. So, what I'm saying is, I, I real that empty space right there for whatever reason is very tempting to me. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna wait till this can be binding. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm willing to consider that. Um, yeah. If you want to give me the trade goods, I will definitely promise it to you. I mean, I'm sure you will. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. All right. So, betray you, man. Moving on. Moving on. So I'm going to uh, take your money and then shit out infantry on your lands. Yeah, that's, that's kind I'm of I'm going to shit out infantry on my own lands. Thank I'm you. Gonna, I'm going to shit out some guys over here. I'm going to do a tactics and I'm going to move my carrier. And my two blue boys, and we're just gonna incredible. What a game! I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, Dal Booty and Ziha. And that's I have turn. heard that the Dal Booty is quite a pleasure planet. I mean, it's got a few C's. It's like that weird horse BDSM planet from uh, the Stars Without Numbers game. <laughs> so here's my question. Yeah. Uh, when I make a space dock, that just means I can use resources from anywhere else by exhausting the planets and make them at whatever planet has a resource as it has a space dock, correct? So when you when you make a space dock, you're just putting the space dock out there so you can use it later. When okay. you when, when I used to make it make stuff. I can only make stuff to up to the number it's available to it. So right. So at your at your home planet here, I you can make four up to plus six. two. You can make up to six things. If you were to put a space dock here, you could only build up to three things. Not three costs, but three, three particular units. items. Three units. Yes. Excellent. Uh, that is well. No, I can't even make things there at the moment. So. Wait, so there is a limit to the things that the space dock poops out? Yes. And that limit is determined by two plus the, the production value. On. Okay. 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 But that's that's so two plus so like if I wanted to produce uh, here, I can only put four units out. So instead of building stuff at the moment. I might as well build stuff at the moment, actually, because I can't. Because you have to activate a hex in order yeah. to build stuff on it. Yep. Yes. Correct. Okay. So. Wow, you now, really uh, redistributed now, your tokens. Eventually, I will have. Uh, I will have to use warfare this year, 
which will give you the opportunity to spend one from your strategy pool in order to make produce stuff at your home base on your space dock in your um, uh, home system. You still have to spend the resources to do it, but it will not activate the system. Okay. Okay. And activating my ability, does that cost me a strategy or is it just activates? Or It just activates. You're going to flip the card over okay. and hit the, the play. So, button. all right. Then and I'll go ahead and activate. Con I'll activate construction. Okay. Uh, so I want to. I will secondary construction. I will put space dock here. What's the other stuff? Uh, one PDS. It's one PDS and one PDS. Uh, okay. Do I need to press the button to activate play? There you yes. go. All right. So, oh, so uh, cotton is next, right? Everyone can do it right now. Oh, okay. It's You're spending a strategy, well. cotton? Welcome to the cool team. I am spending a strategy as well. To activate us, dog. I've done my play for the turn. Uh, I'm not in AP. Yo, you're smiling. That if you would, concerned. I would like an action card if you would have one that you'd like to give me. I will give you my two commodity. Two commodities for one action card. And you, uh, I have some choice selections. For friend, how do you feel about canceling space cannon hits so that people can't shoot you down while you're landing? Do you have anything else? I do. I will show. I will send you that card. Here, take a look at it. Read it in. I think that's worth two commodity. Sure. You sound questionable. I want to make sure you're satisfied with your purchase. I am satisfied. Very well. I can't trade with anybody else because I only have AP. Let's, uh, let's, no, no, I can we're, take... we're, we're, we're neighbors. We can trade. Are we, we neighbors? Trade. Yeah. Yeah, we're neighbors. Okay. But you can't trade action cards with Kelsa. That's true. You cannot trade action cards with me. I, uh... I have one measly trade good, so you probably don't want to trade with me. But you can. I have two measly trade goods, so you know, I'm not that much farther off. Mm. Uh, and then I'll end my turn. Oh, wait, I think we're neighbors, too, because you're on yes. me me yeah, yeah, you Mechatol. We're, uh... Oh, you're actually neighbors with everybody because you're on Mechatol. You're also oh. you're also neighbors here with uh, Spoonik. I feel like I'm not really a neighbor. I'm like the guy who just moved himself in. I was like, don't go. Yeah. yeah, you're, like, yeah, yeah I'm you're not, not exactly a neighbor. Give me you're stuff. Like, you're like that guy that's camping in this van down the street by the river. <laughs> But you're like, hey, what's up? We're neighbors now. Chris Farley. So you just remind me of Chris Farley. Down by the pretty river. much. Pretty much. So I I've gained three trade goods and refresh my commodities. Right? If I play this card, which I'm doing. Uh, which card? Oh, trade. trade. I'm yes. trading. Okay, yes. So you um just making sure I'm doing this right. This is correct, right? Yes. So you're going to take the uh, trade. Uh, you put your things there, and then you get three mm -hmm. trade goods, and they go there. Yes, you did that right. And, and now uh, everybody, everybody can do it. Free. Yay. Everybody. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I mean, I yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. that as well. It doesn't cost you anything. It, yeah, it does. Nope. No, I said you, you can be nope. free. She can do it. She can choose oh. to make people do it for free. Nice.
I don't like the commodity pieces uh, falling through the table. Falling yeah. through the stupid it's a thing. Huge pain in the ass, actually. Actually, it probably would benefit me more if I just locked the stupid piece so I can't pick it up. Better. No, hey, even if the thing is I locked. have a yeah? trade proposition for you. Really? Would you like to trade four for three like we did last time? But Absolutely. In Here's four right here. Sweet. I would hate for you to feel that you didn't get your money's worth. Thank you. And these go to trade goods now, right? Okay. They have become small yellow globes. Cool. I think that's all I can do on my turn, right? Yes. Okay, that makes it my turn. Uh, I would like to trade with someone. Uh, I have oh. four lovely commodities here. I would love I mean, to trade them. For I have other lovely two pieces. lovely commodities. Here. I have four yes. commodities as well. I mean, we could do a swappy swap and get four trade goods apiece. I would love to do that. I feel like this would really uh, reinforce uh, the Federation of Saul, Jaksa Kingdom uh, border yeah. and uh, our, our future intensive peace. So. Let's do that. So let's just, I mean, you don't even need to do, oh, okay. I say we could have just flip them and move them over. I mean, you can't do it option. like that, Sputnik. You have to physically <laughs> hand them over so that you know where they came from. Okay? They're like Jenny from the block. I mean... It's very I, important, I, okay? That metaphor is apt? Yes, I know. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I want to do a lot of things. And <clears throat> I realize I may have made some mistakes in my life. Um... One of the mistakes I made was when I built this, I didn't actually put my token there like I was supposed to. Um, I put it in the trash, which is not where it goes. Uh, then the second thing... <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and activate Warfare. So uh, I'm going to... Oh, no. Get out of there. I'm going to activate the primary warfare, which lets me pull this back, put it back on my sheet. I may rearrange stuff. I choose not to. Um, then everyone else may spend a token from your strategy pool to use the production abilities of one of your space docks in your home system. I pass on that. I, I, I still have to opportunity. pay for the production, correct? Yes, you still have to pay for the production. That's okay, fine. that's fine. Uh, that passes well. Four. And then I'm taking turn. it. So I'm building a dreadnought. Okay. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Only because I feel bad that I'm like the only person who doesn't have one. I also I don't, don't have one. one. And I'm also spending one more production to build um, a two infantry. No. Now remember, you have Sarween tools, so you have one production for free. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, so I can actually just, uh, I'm going to build two fighters and two infantry. Okay. By spending one more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Now you're you can only have so many fighters. Um, your space dock has a can hold up to three fighters, but then you would need. Uh, yep, your dreadnought will hold the fourth one. So that's so good. the most amount of fighters you can have in this sector right now. Okay. Perfecto. And then hit enter. I think you did. I think you passed it to me. Oh, well then take your turn. Uh, I shall play the technology card. Yay! Uh, oh, I uh, I also used the uh, first one. Uh, I made a Dreadnought. Hmm, good. In the uh, Wellen. Cool. My well, technology uh, deck only cannot, has two cards in it now. I don't know You cannot make it in Wellen. You have to do it in your home system. Hmm. Now, what did you I do with that technology? I don't yeah. know. I just went uh, yeah, to look no, at the it. It's the problem is, is that they haven't. Uh, um, there you go. Okay. You had a deck uh, of two sitting on top of a deck of twenty-one. Got it. 
Uh, I'm expending six planets in order to get two research out, so uh, I'm taking Gravity Drive and Fighter 2. Then I think I'm just going to make a carrier. Who's a carrier? I'm going to take my faction tech. How do you know uh, which is your faction tech again? Uh, so your faction techs are going to be the two that have your faction symbol in the upper left-hand corner. Ah, gotcha. And they're going to say... Uh, the yeah, they have the name. Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another cruiser. I want to spend six money to get the two cards, by the way. Did you strategy? Right, to use my thing, or is it not a thing? And uh, I'm spend strategy. Yes, you yeah. do have to spend strategy. Yeah. But then, yeah. Okay. I spent my six planets. So. I'm going to make a dreadnought. I am going to take... I'm taking my faction uh, ability as well. Uh, faction tech. Which one uses your faction tech, Kelsa? Nullification field. Uh, no, it's this one. Spec Ops. My infantry are massively better than everybody else. Yeah, infantry. what the six? What the hell, Kelsa? Massively better. Oh my uh, god. Also, <laughs> if a unit is destroyed, roll uh, 1d10. If the result is five or greater, place the unit on this card, and at the start of my next turn, every unit that's on this card will then just pop up in my home system. And I need to spend a strategy token to do that, correct? Correct. Yes. When another player activates a system that contains one or more of your ships, you may exhaust this card and spend one token from your strategy pool and that player's turn immediately. Immediately. Spoonic. Spoonic. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Wow, you are a hugely defensive race. How about right. that? At the turtle hard. That's all I'm saying. That's right. Uh, Pondo, you got two commodities. I got two commodities. You know what's great about being neighbors is being peaceful and uh, trading with each other so that you can afford the ships you need to engage in war elsewhere in the galaxy. Or, you know, to engage in peace at Makotol Rex. What do you feel about uh, Swap for Swap, friend? Hmm. Sure. Okay. I'll swap for swap. Well, since we could have kept ours and no, no, no. You have to them. listen. You have to know the hand that's feeding you. Okay. Okay. Say so we could have just flipped them over and put. It I in understand, pool. but the act of giving it to someone else reminds you that trade does not flow from just one person. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it's it costs ritual. four to. Oh wait, no, I don't think I can do that. Never mind, I can't get a technology because I didn't use my I used my strategy. Excellent. I Never mind. have ended my turn. Oh. Okay. Um I am going to do production. Yeah. Uh, four. All right, so I'm going to build a. So you need to activate the system where you're going to build it. Oh, right. Uh, and that is, oh, wait, shit. Is that a tactic? Damn, yes. I don't have tactics. Okay, I can't do that. Uh, then you can't do that. Oh. Wheel. I can move. Let's see. I do want to move. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm gonna. Oh, I can't move either because I don't have any tactic. Oh my god! I can't do anything. It is. Uh, it is that that kind of you know you end, end of the round pass. type shit. Yeah, uh, I I actually I think I have to pass. I can't. 
Now I can okay. still do the secondary things of things that haven't been turned over, yes? Correct. And if you have an action card that you can use as an action, you could do that now as well. Yeah, I don't really, nah, I don't, they don't, no, nah, I can't use them. Um, oh, well, everyone's already turned over. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, much I really want to do, except for maybe I had to activate the hex to take the other planet, correct? Yes. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the other planet that's in the system, moving that over, but I am bringing over the carrier, the fighter, and. Oh. Yep. Whoa. You can totally do that. Whoa, Pondo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a lot of force on my border. Why isn't this moving towards, uh, why aren't these things moving toward Mechadol Rex? Or other locations? Uh, eventually they will. I would like okay. to use that uh, worm wormhole next turn, if you would wish. I'd have to move uh, my... Oh, that's true. And you would, in so doing, you would immediately be fighting with the turtle people. They control Maybe. the other side of the wormhole. Depends if he stays there or not. Uh, I feel like a deeper discussion not... about wormhole travel rights is in order. <laughs> um, I it, it's uh. That's a it's a difficult thing you're asking of me, Pondo, to trust you with a system uh, that has one of my planets in it. I mean, what assurances? I guess we could make a trade deal out of it, in which case the assurances would be ironclad. But we'd have to do that next turn. Yes. Can I can I ask what your end goal is moving through the wormhole? Trying to grab some planets over here. I'm sure. Planning nearly to maybe secure that sector at some point. See, um, we we'll need a deeper discussion during the week. Very well, Spoonick. I know you just missed uh -huh. it. Pondo asked for permission to pass through my wormhole zone. That he, sounds. He wants to head over to your side little, of the board. Well, it sounds a little personal. Yeah, it does sound a little personal. So uh, wait, he's gonna pop out in my wormhole? When when I indicated to him that you had a cruiser there, he thought that maybe you might move it. Well, I can't move it because not I don't this, have any it's not until next turn. Uh I don't know how I feel about that. I know. I feel like the three of us need to sit down for peace talks. Mechatol feel... Rex may not be back, but I, as the Emirates of Hakan, am willing to negotiate this during the week. I mean, I feel, you know, like I need to tell my friend Pondo that you shouldn't spread yourself too thin. Same goes to you. I am in a tight little group. For now. I, I have a tight little butthole of control. <laughs> I suppose that's true. How eloquent. That's right. Uh, we can but discuss You also this. have a potential enemy on the other side that tends to reproduce like rabbits. I, I just want her little empty space. That's all. I don't want to move into her home territory. I don't want to take over any planets. I just want to be in this little spot right there. Just Interesting. Right there. That's all I want. Very well. Hondo, it's still your turn. Is this uh, turn? We, we should talk uh, oh. later, all of us. I'll make a secret mm -hmm. channel so we can all sit down and... Oh, Lord. What, Discussions. What okay. are you worried about? We could, Listen, I'll, it'll all be written down for uh, the folks for at home. Posterity. For posterity's sake. For posterity's sake. Yes. sake. I'll drink the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to lose. Uh, All right. Depending on how these negotiations go. It's your turn while they go through their negotiations. Cotton. I'm I'm luck inside. We can't trade action cards. 
Uh, you can trade action cards trade... with me. Yes. Okay. Wow, you got something. Uh... Not Actually, really. Uh, well, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to spend my six money. Now that I think about it, though. I'm going to do that real quick. Off of the table. It's here now. Okay, I'll just take that one back. Is that, oh, another one fell to the table. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I'll, I'll actually do my transit diodes now. Oh boy. Okay. So your transit diodes say that uh, at the start of your action phase, remove up to four of your ground forces and then uh, place them on different planets. So you can move up to four. Does it have to be a planet or does it have to be like? They can be separate planets. Okay, it doesn't have to be like something I own. It has Specifically to be spaceship, own. I mean, spaceport. Right, does not, have to spaceport. Be a, does not have to be a spaceport. It just has to be a planet that you own. So I can do this? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And it's still your turn. That doesn't take up an action. Oh, well, I don't have anything else to do. Okay, well, then I guess you can pass. I I don't think I have anything else to do. Because I don't think I can build anything or nothing like that. I think I'm good. Okay. Uh, my turn. Um, I am not happy with any of my choices but here's what we're gonna do and move over here hmm. I cannot say that i quite enjoy you having that near my borders i'm just staking out control of this wormhole i don't need anybody popping through mm -hmm. uh, i trust cotton completely but now we can also trade how you doing cotton I'm gonna trade. Do you have anything to trade? I have some I have some trade goods. I have a commodity. I'll trade you a trade good for that commodity so that uh, you'll have one trade good and I'll have the same number. You know, just to prove our friendship. Mmm. That's there a that's a bold play. Amy Cotton's it's... friendship like that with such shameless bribery. Well, so it goes. My turn is over. Uh, I have nothing I can do. I pass. I already passed. What is the agenda phase? You have to control Mechatol Rex before that happens. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll get to sit around and talk about law and order and promoting people to ministers. Yep. You spend your planets to gain political favors. All right. Don't worry, Pono. It's going to be really awesome. <laughs> sure. Um, all right. I got nothing. You have to hit the intern button. Cotton. Thank Sorry, you. I didn't hear the little ching. Ah, um, let's see here. You still have things you could do, Kelsa? I do. God. The question is which one of them I want to do. She did uh, use the thing to get an extra tactic token. I'm so salty. Look. Now, <gasps> Spoonik. I as, can't. As, a, as a proof to you that I'm going to be moving my destroyer soon. This is a temporary, temporary thing. And for very good reason, I'll share with you in just a moment. I am not taking your planet. I am just flying over the airspace. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, you've never even had a military presence there. You just kind of got them to sign some paperwork. 
So you're saying that because you're moving there and I'm not going to play my technology card to stop you from doing that. That's well, that's what I'm asking you to do. Now you can, before I actually move these in here, you can use your technology card in order to stop me, but, but you will need to spend a strategy token to do so. I understand. Um, but by allowing you to do what you just did, mm -hmm. you are going to move your purple destroyer out of this empty spot? First thing. Okay. I'll buy that. We solidified a friendship with our first trade, so I have a level of trust with you. I'm going to let this slide. Okay. Good. But do not do not cross the turtles. Do not cross the turtles. Can I ask a question? Uh, mm -hmm. Humans? Yes. Where are you going? That's a very good question. Yeah, no, it's a great question. Uh, well, the Emirates uh... of Hakan is noticing a lot of war footing around the board, and we're getting very nervous. Next year. <laughs> Nick, you, did you just promise that a war was going to start next year? <laughs> That's the way to look at it? She's going to tweet it out, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> At Emirates of Hakad. <laughs> <laughs> How many cultural sites you got? <laughs> yeah. oh, thank God. I can't even with you right now. Sweetie. I know. <clears throat> uh, I pass. I think we all pass back around until Kelsa, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Uh, I choose to go ahead and pass. That's it. Um, where is it? Towards the end. Huzzah. Okay, uh, I need to do my job as speaker, which means I guess I need to read what the speaker does here at the end. Here. Uh, we score objectives first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pondo already scored that objective. Is that permanently done forever? Correct. Oh, no now, one else no, no, can score No, no, no. no. It permanently has the point forever. He cannot redo that point. Anyone else can still score that. Ah, I understand now. All right. Um... And you can only score one secret and one... Yes, you can score one oh, public wow. and one secret in this phase right now. Very so well. we start in uh, order with Spudnik first. Oh, well, I will pay five trade goods to score that point. Okay, fantastic. How do I just grab five of these things? Uh, very carefully. That's what I thought. Uh... You just move them one at a time. It's fine. Okay. Uh, Don't mind me. I can't do my secret. So next that's, is Pondo. Pondo, do you spend five trade goods or have a secret? Uh, no, you already spent five. Trade I already goods. spent that. Uh, do you have three planets with a technology specialization? Or... I believe I only have two. And you do not have ships in two or more adjacent to Mechatol. Yeah, so... because apparently being within it doesn't count either. That's correct. Can't be adjacent to yourself, Pondo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pondo's like, you didn't know I'm a superhero that can clone myself. Boom. Again. Okay. Uh, so after Pondo is um, Jolnar. So Cotton, do you have uh, anything you would like to? I order? have a secret objective. <gasps> oh! Secret objective. Wow, I have shit. three space docks. Uh, what? Three space docks on the game board. Yeah, you do. Damn. One, two, boom, Ow. boom, boom. I got a okay. point. Nice. So, boop. Goddamn light. Yep. Move your point Yay. There. There's a point. Good job. That's all I can do. Cool. Uh, next is me. Uh, so I am going to spend five trade goods right now. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Boop, boop, boop. Thanks so much, Cotton. And that gives me one point. And then <clears throat> uh, I also have a secret objective. And it says, uh, have one or more ships in three systems that are each adjacent to an anomaly. So wow. this is adjacent to an anomaly. This is adjacent to an anomaly. And this poor little destroyer over here, adjacent to an anomaly. Oh, now I see why you wanted that little empty spot. That is why I wanted that little empty spot. Well, you don't need it anymore, thankfully. Exactly. I don't need it anymore. Exactly. I feel even better about our agreement. Good, 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 good. 
that's uh, then um, rip, 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 last is Hakan. So AP, what you got? I am spending five to cash in. I really wasn't going to, but now I feel like I'm in last place and I don't want to be there. <laughs> It's just everybody. Now you're, now you're just everybody's all in on the trade goods, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should get in on this stuff. I don't want to be last place. I'm okay with being with everyone else. <laughs> all right, awesome. I'm revealing a public objective. Right, that's where we're at. Yes, yes that's where we're Boom. at. Boom! Controlled planets, six planets, and non-home systems. I think I have that. It's no, not. Dad, home. I don't think. Huh? I think I have that. Uh, uh one, no, I'll be two, getting it next one, two, turn, three, four, five. Four, five. Yeah. I have that, yeah. So you feeling like you can take Mechatol Rex? I mean, if you could do that, I, that's six. I have six right now. Outside of my home system. One, two. Uh, next, we're going to draw five, action cards. Six. Actually, if we hit the end of phase button, it should do all of this stuff for us automatically. I don't have it in turn. Where's end phase? End of status phase is on the back of your... Um, Strategy card? Oh. Oh, beautiful. Burn. It does all of it for you. It's so nice. Really give me both of my action cards? It did. Wow. Oh, nice. Hmm. Elsa, let me say this. I might have some action cards for you in the immediate future. Uh, fantastic. I love to hear about that. We'll talk. All right. Uh, now, uh, somebody did not press the button on their card. Which button? This one right here that says. Which one? Uh, nope. Sit end of status phase button. I, I did click it. Yeah. It gave me my cards. To, then you have to hit confirm or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh no! It gave me two more cards. I already did it. Back. Okay. Then I guess just hit return. No. That is very. Because I'm playing political stability, so I can keep it. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. But I don't know what to do with these cards that it dealt me. Uh, the ones that it dealt you? Yeah. Uh, put them back on top of the action card deck and then hit R to shovel it. And we need to get uh, two tokens, right? What? Two tokens for the uh, either tactic strategy fleet, whatnot. It should have gone those for you. Yes, they're right here. Okay. So, oh boy. And you can assign those as you like. Uh -huh. It also sucked all of your ones up from the board, which is really cool. Uh, and you don't forget any. Very nice. Uh, and then, uh, AP, you are still the speaker, so you are first to choose, uh, but you cannot choose uh, trade because Cotton already has it. Can I make a suggestion? Wait, what? Cotton just snipe trade? Yes. Yeah, well. uh, instead of returning it, she played this card that Incredible. says uh, she gets to keep it. Fantastic. Uh, Do can I make as a quick suggestion? Yes. Do we want to start a new year, knowing that we will not be able to finish it this session? We're not starting a new year. The end of the round is when you pick strategy cards. Ah, okay. Uh, technically, it's the beginning of the round. Well, then let's stop here then. Okay. Prince. The end of the round, she got to snipe it because that was the end of the round thing. So. So does that mean that Cottontail is going to have? two strategy cards next no no it just means oh. that she has trade she's okay okay <clears throat> it means no one else so can take me to keep the card that i had yes without it's drawing cool. a new one. and the important part about her taking trade means she always makes enough trade goods uh and commodities to keep buying technologies and doesn't there need to be a third trade good on uh the number eight card no 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 why because we've only had two years so far after we all pick our techno uh, after we all pick our strategies, if it's still out there, then it'll get Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh friends, this is towards the end of this, the first half, third. Probably I'm thinking third. We've literally Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna get faster. Yeah. The, <laughs> next couple rounds. the next third is gonna be real quick. As yeah. you said, the first hour was me just going over what all the pieces were. So, uh, I would like to go around, talk to everybody. We'll uh, we'll say how they feel about how the game's going. How they feel that they have some more mastery with the rules, or if they're confused about anything. And then after that, we'll do outros. Cotton, I'd like to start with you. I know at the beginning you were a little. Hi, I'm Cotton. 
Um, I I got it now. I am a I am an awful auditory learner. So everything you said at the beginning, unfortunately, just went. I am so sorry. I'm very visual or hands on. Zero audio. You feel like you have a stronger. Yeah, I feel like I know what's going on. You definitely feel like you know what's going on. So I feel like I know what's going on. Whether that's true or not, I'll find out at the end of the game. But I feel like I have a plan. Interestingly, this is a game where more than one person can win. It's really rare, but it is possible. It's theoretically possible. I'm just happy if you guys don't wipe out my whole planet system. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm not going to war with you, but let me tell you something. There's some people with some beefy fleets out here that are very concerning to me. It's not me. I don't have a beefy I... fleet. Oh, I don't even want to hear about that. You could, you're like, all right, I produce six infantry yeah. this round. I you put them on the planet begun. that I'm attacking. And also, when they die, they go back to my home base. You have not even begun to poop. <laughs> yes, that is correct. I have not even begun to poop. That's accurate. Very 100%. Oh, wow. I do not have a beefy fleet, and I think anybody could wipe me out if they really felt like it. I don't think so. Honestly, I think your fleet, my fleet, and uh, Spoonik's fleet are all of equivalent size. And, and combat is so difficult, I think, to win in this game that, like, it's not... I, I, unless you start really leveling up your ships, it's almost a bad idea, right? Yeah, combat... Well, you know, getting what you want is always good, but uh, sure. once you start killing people, that lets everybody on the board know this is not someone to be trusted anymore. True. I see you over there, Pondo. You're trying to take that Mechatol Rex Custodian token right off the board. <laughs> it just, you didn't see it, people in the audience, but he picked it up and was moving it around. Okay. All right. I saw it. Uh, you know what they say, he who controls Are Mechatol Rex controls... Those? Yes, but you uh, only need to remove one. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. Yeah. There should only be one, but I think it generated another one when we the, yes. when we pressed a button. Uh, uh, Pondo, how do you feel that you're doing in this game? How's your rules knowledge going? Uh, I think I'm doing okay. I, uh, essentially was trying to, my best to get to the middle mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a strategy tends to dictate getting the middle works best especially since getting that spot early on will allow me to get an extra victory point and maybe something else i do not know i mean you take mechatol rex and then you keep drawing the imperium card all day long that's that's the path to quick victory pointing yeah, yeah. Sounds like you have a very clear forward strategy uh, of expansion, Pondo. Yes. Very well. Um, any more thoughts? Uh, none at the moment. Kelsa, your moves this game were incomprehensible to literally everyone. Your revelation that you were secret objectiving was top tier. <laughs> Everything made a lot more sense, but it's still very scary when you begin putting shit all over the. You could just tell somebody. I mean, <sighs> that's a holdover from uh, a very long time ago. In the in, in TI three, if you told someone what your secret objective was, you could no longer score it. That's like in the rules. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure they eliminated that in in the, the fourth edition, but that's still like kind of in the back of my brain. What I could have said would, uh, well, I, what I sort of said was, uh, you know, that it's for the best, which is uh, what me and my brother used to tell each other when we were playing um, freaking, uh, what is that video game called that's not, that's like Civ, but in space, but not Space Civ. Um, Alpha Centauri? No. Stellaris? Mm, no, no. Stellaris. Uh, I'm not heard. The one with all the aliens in it. <laughs> uh, make me make me look here. Anyway, um, 
endless legend thank you that's the one. Uh, wow. uh one of the things that's you can get in is in endless legend is a uh a quest that says you have to take somebody else's system and like we would take each other's systems and then like give them back to each other and just be like it's cool i just needed my secret objective points um we were real bad about that anyway uh honestly i've made so many mistakes this game uh i realized after the fact how much how badly i messed up in the second year there's just a huge freaking list um but it's fine um i'm just gonna do what i'm doing now and forget all the newbies out apparently uh i mean i haven't attacked anybody i haven't planned i haven't stolen anything i will be shocked if there isn't combat next round oh me too yeah uh there was almost combat this round but pondo was smart and brought a destroyer with him uh to mechatol which uh scared me off i didn't want to attack with um a fighter <laughs> you would toss one fighter to take out a dreadnought no you wouldn't exactly it's a cruiser <laughs> so there's a cruiser if it was just oh, a cruiser yes i see then now. my yes. carrier and a fighter would have stood a chance i suppose that's but true with there being a destroyer there that destroyer is just going to rip up my fighter and then it's just my carrier versus a destroyer and a cruiser and like i'm boned so that's not happening uh next year however look out come at me bro i'll bring two dreadnoughts over to your seat see how you like it <laughs> i'm really tempted to start investing in this uh what is it called arc uh arc secundus oh you want to get your hilarious. flagship what the hell? Your flagship has two attacks at five? That's pretty Jesus good. Jesus Christ. Other players' units in this system lose the planetary shield ability? Oh, no. This shit is fucked up. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, your your uh, your worship lets you spend trade goods to just re-roll stuff. Yeah, but it's only a plus one. Oh, no, just one. add plus one. Yeah, Sorry. it's okay. not so good. Still. Bert, you have to pay eight to accomplish this thing. It sucks. My, my flagship sucks. Essentially, my plan is to buy it and then park it into uh, medical Rex. Rex. Yeah, I bet. And say, come at me. I dare you. <laughs> That's a good plan. It's, it's not a bad plan. That's for sure. Any other thoughts, Kelsa? Um, I, I feel like Cotton's really getting it. Um, it's not surprising all. me that Cotton has taken the role of p peaceful research expansion. That's <laughs> it's really it's really her bag, honestly. And um, the, the universes of Jolnar is one of my favorite uh, races of of the sixteen races that are in Twilight Imperium. Um, them and the Psychic Naga are my favorites. Uh, I gotta kind of admit, you said scientists, and I was kind of like, eh, but then I remember that you said they were fish, and I was kind of in it for that. <laughs> yes, they're fish scientists, um, and they're, they're really good, actually. I'm enjoying like, the fish scientists. Just having so much technology is really a huge bonus. Um, yeah, the third, the, my third favorite race is the, um, the Ghosts of Cressus, which uh, they live, they don't live on the board, uh, they live through a third wormhole off to the side, and the instead of having a home planet, they have a home wormhole okay. they have to go through to get to their their planet. Um, and they they have all kinds of wormhole technology. So look, I think we're all in agreement that in some point in the future we'll need to play a second game of this where we do oh, the yeah. advance. I'll still play Emirates of Akan, but <laughs> everyone else can play what they want. I also love Emirates of Akan, to be honest. I mean, first of all, they're cats. That's a big, that's a big plus. Uh, however, their main color is yellow, and so that's a big minus. I'm okay with it. Uh, whereas Jolnar is really nice because their main color is purple, and they get purple on purple, and that makes me happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Spoonik, what do you got? How you doing with this game so far? You understanding the rules? You feel like yeah, you're making the moves? I mean, that you want? Yeah. honestly, you know, like, uh, you know, the reputation this game has is that it's like super complex and all the stuff's going on. 
like honestly much like any board games really except for like super complicated war gaming um once you play i'm a lot like cottontail once you play a round or two of it like you just it, it just starts to make sense and like the iconography in the game makes sense to me um now obviously there's going to be more rules added on when we do the uh what is it called the the political phase yeah mm -hmm. the agenda uh, agenda phase you know there'll, there'll be some more more things to sort of grasp through that but the the way this game flows like I, i've been wanting to play this game for probably about 10 years and um so granted like i've watched playthroughs and you know looked at rule books and all that kind of stuff um so it, it made me it, like it gave me like i knew a little bit of what was going on but you'll never really know what's going on until you play it but the way the game is designed and i, and I think from what i've read and, and seen uh, the fourth edition has kind of streamlined a few things as well to make it a, a bit easier to sort of uh, speed the playthrough a little bit, um, which is nice. But um, man, it's it's a really good game. It's really good. I'm really like a lot of times if there's a board game that I really want to play, really want to play it, really want to play it. Sometimes you play it and you're like, oh shit, it's not. I mean, it was fun, but it's not great. Like this is fun. This is a fun game. It's really good. It's a um, long game. It's an expensive game. Yeah. Damn, it's a good game. Exactly. Exactly. Like I like I personally would never buy the physical version of this game only because I don't necessarily have the table space for it and I don't know that in person I could get enough people to play it. It's possible I could um because I do know a lot of people in real life that play like D and D board games, stuff like that. So it's possible, but I don't want to bet one hundred and thirty dollars or whatever on the possibility. Mm -hmm. um, but but doing it like this is great. This is a great um, uh, uh, whatever they call it for tabletop uh, unit module. or whatever module. Uh, this is a great module. It works really well. It's one of the better working ones that I've ever played with. Um, I think I'm doing all right. I, I am, I am, I feel like I'm playing my race the way I should by avoiding conflict. I have a really good political power that I, I didn't really, I used once that whole, I mean, it was really yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, I felt like that was a really good play. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Pondo kind of, um, uh, dicked me over a little bit with it, but that's okay. I mean, that's part of the game um hey i had to be aggressive i had a chance I, I mean it's in your nature it's in your race's nature it's fine I, I can't hold that against you um it's just a it's a really fun game I, I i really i wish we were playing it again tomorrow but i guess we can wait a week it will be next we can monday wait a week. Yeah. uh i'm glad to hear that you're happy you joined the board game called chin of the yes. papers of the third destiny very happy uh as for my part um i don't know i feel like maybe i've expanded a little bit too much the thing is i'm probably going to expand again next round but i really just want to solidify my borders and just, just kind of sit here and trade i think i got mm -hmm. I, I think i made several excellent trades so far uh, i mean have we gotten too aggressive i mean kelsey you play this like are we being too aggressive with expansion so far or Definitely not. I mean, um, my my expansion I mean, is a huge sprawl compared to everybody else. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. All right. Okay. I don't think right. so. I'm not uh, like Pondo anything... here. I mean, I think Pondo maybe wants to come over here and get some melons and some Zubats. Well, <laughs> Pondo just went Bleh, right down the middle. You know. What I mean? <laughs> Who knows? My. Who knows what his plan is? Uh, I think Great. that. My opening turn, I was very well informed as to how to play a game, and now I'm like, do I put something in my tactics or my strategy? What do I do with my fleets? Like, yeah, it seems that, like there's never enough tokens now. That resource management that that yeah. is that is important. I don't like to leave planets unexhausted either. I and I, yeah. I that's one of the mistakes that I made this round. Uh, I had all but one of my planets was still unexhausted that I did not use, and I could have built something. Um, if I'd played my, if I played my turn a little bit differently, um, 
but uh yeah no it's far too late for that yeah i think the thing that uh where i just automatically have to bleat yeah very makes you a very very military aggressive player Um, well and it helps you resource wise too because you can just mm -hmm. take shit off your fleet triangle and put it in other stuff and that's the nice thing about uh being the humans is that i get an extra token every single year yeah Uh, so has everyone set up their tokens for the next year? Yes. Yes. Why does yes. Pondo only have three tokens now? Because you only get two, and I've spent Oh, you ton. spent it. Oh, right, because you moved them all out of your fleet. Yeah, I'm looking over here at Cotton. Cotton's just rolling and stuff next year. Yeah, Cotton's stacked. Yeah. Um, I'm looking all right. Yeah, you too. Am I now, stacked? Now, Look well, at the Federation of Soul over here with three strategy. How did that happen? Yeah. Kelsa is super stacked. I think it's Kelsa, Cotton, me, uh, Arthur. Oh, you gain an additional command token. Wow. Um, that's that's my racial God ability. God damn you. Who even likes them anyway? Humans. Nobody. They're terrible. Cats are great. Humans are dumb. I think we can all agree with that. <laughs> I agreed. As a human, I agree. <laughs> As a cat, I also agree. <laughs> uh, friends. Thank you for, for joining us uh, for the first part of this board game cult, uh, our first episode. Not only of Twilight Imperium, but the first one we're showing to you in the 120 years of the continual operation of the board game cult. Who knows what dark occultism has been performed in these rituals. Battleship, Risk, Stratego. We're going all the way back to the I dark love, I love Stratego. Stratego is great. That's a great game. Uh, these the rituals Valero. must be performed in order to drive off the ancient enemy who is moderately good but not really like the great no one will call him the great enemy uh, the star of ill intent let's let's do some outros uh, I am of course AP Gaming Real if you're watching this video you already know where to find me so I don't need to say anything else Cotton I'm fun doodle and stuff. You can find me on uh, my Twitter, AP's Discord, Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Sundays on Pondo's Twitch. On Pondo's Twitch, are you saying that you are a member of Pondo's Sunday show? Yeah, I think I was the second person he asked to be on it. Wow. Oh, it was, actually, it was actually the first. Oh, okay. okay. I thought, yeah, I thought, you, I thought you asked him first, my bad. <clears throat> the Warriors of Jaw, right? Because you said, do you want to play with Smooth? So I figured you asked him already. And then she just assumed he was going to say yes. I, I just assumed that you say it. yes when I ask you questions, Cotton. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> By the way, I like your little sassy counterpoint where you were like, how do you feel about trading four for three for me? I was like, wow, Khan's time as Black Rabbit has really uh, bounced it up. Okay. Well, I mainly wanted some trade trade goods. Yeah, (laughs) you got those trade goods that you wanted. All of the trade goods that you wanted. I did get trade goods. Hondo. Speaking of people who have trade goods and have traded them. Hi, I've I've had trade goods and traded them. Um not sure what all to say necessarily. Uh I am Pondo or Pondo the Mad. You can catch me on YouTube or Twitch slash Pondo the Mad. Uh or uh you can also catch me Thursday nights playing Battletech or Saturday nights playing 40k or uh, whenever AP is on vacation playing Pokemon with Cotton. Uh, or you can catch me Sunday nights playing uh, a Gestalt 5e campaign done in a winter type style or monster hunting on Sundays 8 p.m. Eastern uh, on my Twitch channel at Honor the Mad slash uh, twitch.tv slash Pond the Mad. I have no idea if I'm going to, how well this game's going to go for me. 
Okay. Essentially, I think I just made myself a target, but hey. Uh, I mean, there's no potential about it. You literally said I'm putting these giant ass ships on Mechatol Rex. Come at me. You literally said, come at yeah, me. You actually Multiple said, times, come actually. I said, let me tell you yeah. something. When I edit this video, I will have edited in you saying that at this point. No, I if I said, have I any editing ability. times, like, I want to take these over here. Don't come at me. This is mine. A super cut of just Pondo being like, come at me. Come if it makes me. you feel better, I will not come at you. I also will not come <laughs> at you. I feel like peace should reign between us. I feel like peace should reign for everyone. But I, feel like I, I actually understand. have like a gun right next to AP right at the moment. I might negotiate with Kelsa to get her to come at you. Mm, Look, I Kondo. might listen to my good friend, <laughs> the Diplomacy Turtles. That's right. Look, uh, just remember, keep all of your secret communications in a log. I have a log. Turns out when you copy paste onto Google Drive. Uh, it looks like shit. Yeah, but it also includes the, the, the image. icon of the person. Yeah, you have to delete that. <laughs> I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, Pondo, why would you say you have a gun to my head? Come on now. Uh, well, I do have that little bit of fleet right there. I know, but you just told you promised me you were taking that to Mechatol Rex. You said you weren't a threat. I will be taking that to Mechatol Rex. Just don't do anything wrong. I can't. I won't don't be able hear to do him it. Saying that he's not a threat. What? Look at my fleet. It's it's literally carriers. <laughs> All they do is move infantry and fighters around. We are not yeah. a threat to anybody. Cotton could kick you, my ass right now. You are a threat to me, I'm pretty sure, because I also just have carriers. You have a dreadnought. You just built it. No, I had it from the beginning. It was just there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. I have a shitty little cruiser somewhere that I haven't even touched yet. I didn't have a cruiser. That, a dreadnought is better Look than a cruiser. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a fighter there. Look at that. I've oh, got a my. Listen, Cotton, mm -hmm. <laughs> your fleet is better than my fleet. Is it? By a lot, like twenty percent. Because of that one destroyer, I mean. Yes. Dreadnought? Destroyers are very good. Dreadnoughts are very good. I I, I didn't have a destroyer. I just have a dreadnought. But All right. Okay. Destroyers are good against uh, fighters. All right. Where were we? Kelsa, your outros. We got way Hello. off course. I'm Kelsa. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Kelsa. Twitch and YouTube. It's Kelsa Delphi. I play role-playing games on the internet as well as board games. Uh, right now I am GMing a game of Scum and Villainy on uh, Thursdays called Packet Loss. Uh, that game is a huge amount of fun. I love it a lot. On uh, Saturdays uh, on my own channel, we're playing a Legend of Korra inspired uh, Forge in the Dark game uh, called Republic City by Night. Uh, that game is real cool. And then on Sundays, I'm over on Outro's channel where we are playing Mothership, which is space horror. Uh, good times all around. Okay. Sputnik. Yeah, uh, I'm on Twitter at Sputnik underscore 71. I, on Wednesdays, I am on uh, AP's channel playing some New Game Plus. Uh, I'm on Twitch at Spooty McTootie. Uh, but I don't have anything on there since the Cambodians stole my original Twitch channel. I remember when that um, happened. It was super yeah. weird. It was very weird. They're like, hey, I'm going to fuck this guy over that has 100 <laughs> followers. I was and really so confused when you started it. tweeting at me about shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They took my Twitter. <laughs> it was crazy. I was able to save my Twitter, but Twitch, because I don't have like a thousand people or whatever subscribing to me, they were like, oh, your channel got taken over? Uh, fuck you. So uh, I had to start a whole new Twitch channel. I have no videos on it. And maybe one day there will be, but maybe not. So we'll see. But I have fun. I'm glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm getting to play this game with you guys. This is fun. Friends, please join us for the next episode, which we'll release on YouTube, you know, whenever. I don't know. Whenever I feel like it. Have a good night or day or whatever time it is included in the description section of this video.
is a link containing all of the chat logs from all three episodes. 